Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So we're going to be playing as Grimgore now since we finished up with uh, Scarbrand. And uh, yeah, let's jump in here and just see how it goes. So here are the settings. Legendary difficulty, very hard battle. Uh, end game uh, difficulty 200. Just default timer, all of them enabled. And uh, well, we'll see where we go. Zero HP Immortals. Doomstack? Oh, that doesn't spell Immortals one. Kelly Sane, watch your back. Hmm. Also, um, I did have some time to do a little comparison between normal and legendary difficulty. And I can see why some people think that normal difficulty is actually more difficult than legendary, but it isn't. Alright, come on. Please be a disciplined one. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? Uh, it's not really that useful right now. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So... Oh, I didn't spell Immortals right. Hang on. Let me just change this in the title there. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get to this. So we want to confederate these guys, right? And use whatever army they recruit to go and take out uh, Kolek. And then head west. Yeah. Head west. Um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Kill them all! Yeah. What is that makes people think it's harder? Okay. So, I think it comes down to different playstyles. So, I did not a super extensive test, but I was playing a bit of Kislev, and I played some Legendary, and I played some Normal Difficulty, and I played them back to back, and I also played different playstyles, and I kind of saw what was going on. So, if you play on Legendary Difficulty, and you fight all the battles manually, and you don't take a lot of damage in your in your fights, AI will be less likely to declare war on you. But if you play on normal difficulty, right, and you auto-resolve a fair bit, and your army spends a lot of time damaged, the AI will declare war on you earlier. However, if you play on normal difficulty, and you fight your battles manually, and you don't take damage in those battles, the AI does not declare war on you early. I also saw that on normal difficulty, the AI was way easier to engage in a fight. They really did, they got duped really easily, right? And on legendary difficulty, the AI is way more cautious. So I'm going to say pretty conclusively that normal difficulty is not more difficult than legendary by a pretty large margin. Okay. Absolutely not. I can see why people might think so, but if you play your campaigns exactly the same, you will find legendary difficulty more difficult. Please, gobbies, gonna kill him. Nice one. So we got biggins, so we should be able to take out those boys over there pretty easily. So people being lazy on normal difficulty? Yeah, well people just tend to auto resolve a lot on lower difficulties, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's what's happening. The AI is, um, they're declaring war on you based on your strength. If you're too weak, they declare war on you, and if you're too strong, they declare war on you. Which can happen in both cases on normal difficulty, right? So, here's another thing, right? On legendary difficulty, the AI recruits faster, right? So, it's, uh, they keep up with the player a little bit more. So when you're playing on normal difficulty and doing really well, you become strength ranking one sooner. They declare war on you earlier, right? Um, because you're you're stronger than them. So it can it can actually seem like they're um, 
it's actually more difficult than normal difficulty. But what's simply happening is just the AI is responding to different situations differently um, due to you having an easier situation. Uh, Tuomas Kartunen did a two euro super chat saying, well, all right, thanks, dude, appreciate the support. Because, yeah, the AI declares war on you if you're too weak and also if you're too strong. It's kind of a weird thing. And both can happen when playing on normal difficulty. You order resolve too much, you get too weak. Boom, you get declared war on. You fight your battles manually. You keep strong. You out-recruit the enemy. They declare war on you. But the AI is, was way easier to dupe into a fight. Way easier on normal difficulty. Like, playing as Kislev on legendary difficulty, Throt just refused to engage with me, right? He just refused. And he just looked for undefended settlements, that's it. And in normal difficulty, boom, I, I got into a fight with him straight away. It's only a little bit of damage, damage there, no, no big deal. Uh, Heimsko did an ISK 1500 super chat. I distinctly remember you saying that you were going to select wars for the end game crisis, or am I mistaken? I can't remember. I may have said that. Um, I guess I just forgot. Sorry. Uh, Viren did become a member for 11 months, saying, what? All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for the chat. Uh, membership. Yeah. Yeah, I may have said that. Sorry, but I, that was like two days ago. I forgot about that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm kind of sick of these end games. Like, it still could happen. It still could happen. Will you try a build the Immortal Crimson Killer? Uh, maybe. We'll see how we go. That's definitely a good build, for sure. We will see. We will see. Good, no casualties on the Black Orcs. Um, we don't really need to run them down, they're all gonna get wiped out. Let me just kill the general for the extra loot. Get him? Yep, yeah, go. Eh, I run them down a little bit. Are Black Orcs good now? Uh, Black Orcs have always been strong. Um, look, I haven't played this campaign yet, so I don't know. They're probably good. I'm just wondering if crap stacking might be better. We'll see. Grimgul's Lord and Faction skills changed in any way? Mm. Look, I'm going into this pretty fresh. <laughs> so, I don't know at this stage. Did you check out the Landmarks of Beastmen? Could confirm Oak unique building is not providing this resistance anymore. God, that fucking sucks. They probably just haven't gotten to it yet. Why did Scarbrand campaign? We won. We got domination victory. See, if you're asking that question, that means you didn't see it. That means you weren't watching it. Yeah. So, I can always tell when somebody comes on is like, "Oh, why'd you win that certain campaign?" It's like, "Cause we won." You know, if you were watching it, you'd have known that. <laughs> 
Alright, so we can get money, replenishment, or... Yeah, I'll go with replenishment, because we don't have another battle to do this turn. You can decrease the upkeep of Black Orcs with Iron, unless they remove that. Hmm... Yeah, yeah... By 3%. Hmm... <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's what Mork wants. Uh, which of the Warhammer 3 races do you predict to be the highest challenge for Greenskins? Hmm, probably Warriors of Chaos, maybe? I don't know, I'm not sure. Some people like me watch it through VODs from start to finish. I'm currently on the stream for Scarbrand campaign. Yeah, that's fine as well. That's fine. Well, if you watch it all, you'd know what happened. That's all. Well, the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. If you are watching the VODs, right, and you see that I've, you know, stopped streaming a campaign, if you come on here and ask what happened, you're going to get spoilers. So, I, I don't know, like... That's, that's fine. Fun cars have a really tough start. Have you had the same experience? I haven't played Kairos yet. Um, the lads are ready. I have heard people having a hard time with Kairos. Doesn't really surprise me. Something about Zinch is just not super strong at the moment. We are going ham through here. And you... Yeah, so I deployed over here in the hope that they would build those towers, and then we just move over here where they'll be obstructed. What do you think of the regiments of renown bonus for Wurzags and others? Mm, I haven't really looked into it, to be honest. Demons probably they like magic attack for the most part. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, not really. Yeah, I know they they lack magic attack, but maybe, maybe. I know, when I was playing as Korn, I found that my demons actually kind of struggled against uh, Greenskins. A little bit. So it's going to give me a Pyrrhic victory on this battle, so we need to do better than that. Elegant, does the Vigor Reduction bonus on Black or Big Boss is stuck? It did in Warhammer 2, I would assume it does that in Warhammer 3. But yeah, you get three of them, and it makes your Black Orcs um, perfect Vigor, essentially. Still getting shot by towers? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Okay, I could bomb in here, just gotta be a little bit careful of it, that's all. Okay, good, we're not getting shot by those towers anymore, we're not taking much damage. Alright, let's see how this goes, yeah. That looks pretty good. need to get rid of these goblins here. I can't quite... Okay, now we send this dude around here, now that this is open, to flank him. That's it. Just need to buy a little bit of time. Alright, I'm going to pull these orcs back a little bit. Let the, um, let the black orcs take it, since they can basically do it without damage. Because we want to keep our army, you know, as healthy as we possibly can. 
Uh, but you could always do your first full map completion, i.e. with Scarbrand. Yeah, but I... I people lost interest in it, dude. The, uh, the drop in interest as soon as we hit victory, it was like almost instant. You know, my job here is not to bloody do full map completions all the time. I have no interest in full map completions personally. So, I'll do it if you guys want me to do it, but... A lot of people just don't care. You know, once you've gotten like 50, 60 settlements, you know, you've won. Especially with a powerful faction like Scarbrand. So hope you guys have had a good weekend. really been the biggest fan of these guys. They have pretty low melee attack. Good stuff. Alright, that looks like pretty good kind of damage. Did you hear about stealing your allies hero with request army and then dying while having immortality? Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. Or cavalry still so steal socks? Uh, well, it depends on how you look at it. I mean, these are anti-large cavalry. Uh, I just, I just saying I never really liked them that much. They're not bad. But there was only one large unit, those ones there. You know, we got some kills, it didn't take much damage, I guess it's not so bad. I guess when the biggins take a, too much damage. Yeah, I get. Yeah, never really been a big fan of biggins either. Uh, we don't want to loot and occupy, even though it'll give us replenishment, just occupy, because we don't want to cause too many problems. Cool um, Bro Dazfa. Did a ten dollars. So we said, "Hey, legend. Any tips on minor city battles with full weapon teams army? I fought an army full. Sorry, I'm, I fought a full army of the Fane Trances in a minor city I won, but I got decimated. And had ten wins for summons. Right. Um, you just got to take it slow, I guess, because you're just gonna have obstructions. Try to use your heroes to lure the enemy out into the choke points. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, ta Taxors did a hundred DKK super chat. I don't care what people say." Or how much they hate settlement fights. The settlement town maps are amazing looking. Fair enough. Thanks for the chat. Wolfpaw, the 10 year super chat. I listened to the war. Did you stack up lore of magic passives like map wide fire debuff with Warriors of Chaos? Or did you need an example of that from me? Uh, I didn't play the Warriors of Chaos that much. And if you want to send me an example, that's fine. But you got to keep in mind that I've got, I'm getting so many emails at the moment. And I'm not prioritizing anything. It's just whatever's on the top of the list, that's what I'm going at. So if you do send it to me and I don't respond, my apologies, but I have just got way too many emails right now. Um, so it's entirely up to you. you d I would recommend if you were going to send me something like that, maybe wait like two months. Because right now, the chances of anyone getting their save file picked right now is actually really low. Just because of the sheer number of them. Gorks fist. And yeah, that's not something that I'm really going to prioritize that much. But thanks for the super chats, guys. Did they change the discipline trait? No, it remains the same. Alright, let's have a look here. Let's get... Du Bois, maybe? Okay, now. Tell me we've got a... No, we didn't get one. I was hoping to get a cunning lord. We didn't get one. All right. Well, we'll get we'll get tough. Hang on. Are these guys? Do these guys stalk? They do. Hmm. Interesting. All 
I'm gonna get a Night Goblin War Boss. Who cannot stand? All right then. All right, and we are going to recruit some orcs. Cool, and we're gonna get this. Cool. So what my plan here is to use this guy here as bait, set up an ambush for their um, faction leader. Rather than going in and taking 87, because he starts off with a giant. Now you might think, uh, Legend, you always say giants are shit. Yes, normally giants are shit. However, right after deep beating these guys, I'm going to go fight Kolek. And Kolek doesn't have many missile units. Giants are actually pretty good if they don't have missile units. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, and he got the Sword of Might, which is really not that big of a deal, and uh, let's have a look at Diplomacy and see what's going on. Clan Ferric, we'll get a non-aggression pack with them. Not them, because they're going to be vassalized by Thingy. Uh, no Flesh Greeters, no... Uh, well, we'll see. Tribesmen can't. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Let's go. I have noticed as well that the economy from this has been buffed. It used to be 200, 300, 400, and now it's 250, 375, 500. So, you know, the greenskins, their economy has been buffed. So that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Wait, building upgrade available. Already. Oh, shit. God, I gotta get the money. Does Grimgore item set do anything? Uh, I should really have a look at that, yeah. Why not get the Perceptive Great Goblin Shaman for early game item stacking and fusing? Hmm... It's probably a good idea, but I want specifically somebody that stalks. Carl Franz when? I have no plans on covering Carl Franz right now. Ooh, that's loud. Plus 10 armor for a unit hat that has 120 armor. Grim Grower said shit. <laughs> yeah, well, look. Plus 10 armor does help a bit. It definitely has diminishing returns after you get to 100. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. Ready for murdering. Alright, so what we want to do here. Going to ambush dance. I need the boys. Yeah, not a big deal. And we want to go in ambush dance down to about... Arda Fulatif. Yeah, that's the guy we want to get. He has a giant in his army. We want to lure him into a trap. Hmm, I need to make sure he can actually attack us. But we don't want to get too close or else he'll detect us. So, this area here is considered hills. That's reasonable. I don't think there's any better place. Uh, we don't have to ambush him. But I just need him to come down here and launch the attack. Otherwise, we have to attack here, Blizzard Peak, and I don't want to do that. So, I am relying a little bit on luck here, which you normally do with ambushes, um, but we'll just have to see how we go. Because, yeah, I want to take his army with us and head straight to Kolek before he's had a chance to do anything. It will kind of bankrupt us a little bit, but pff, yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, I think it would be best to get go faster. Yeah. Okay. And luck for the luck god. Let's see how we go. Which is better for Immortals? Discipline or Confident? Confident's better for the Immortals. For, oh, wait, wait, wait. They changed Confident. Uh, Disciplined is actually better now. Yeah. Yeah, Confident used to provide plus four. Hang on. Let's see what happens. Here they come, here they come. Used to provide plus four leadership. Now it only provides plus two. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Alright, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And ambush, 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 ambush. Ambush, 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 ambush. Oh, ambush failed. Alright, well, let's still we get the battle. That's the main thing here. So, if we win the battle here, but uh, don't kill this one, I get to keep it. We could order resolve it, but it'll wipe him out. Now, if we had ambushed him, he would have actually just run off the map straight away, which meant we didn't have to do any damage to him. 
50-50 chance. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Would have kept our army healthy. Kept his army healthy. Smack. Um, thank you, my Bob. But at least we have the attack. That's the main thing here. Is Grom still the best green skin faction? I think so, yeah. Alright, uh, pick a defensive position. We aren't really going to get flanked from here. So let's go here. And that's also close to our reinforcement zone. You're up front. I reckon if you could be fighting the... Uh, um, the giant, that would be good. Because the giant's probably not going to get any kills on you. Alright, they don't have anything fast and strong, so you can come around the back here and harass them. I think they'll come at us straight away. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. They're not gonna do that. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I guess we'll move up then. Do you ambush AI better or worse than Warhammer 2? In some situations it's better, in some situations it's worse. So the AI is better if it's a more evenly matched fight or the, the fight is in their favor. But if you have the advantage, then they'll almost always run off the battlefield straight away, even if they're on force march, giving them, you know, killing themselves without even a fight. So sometimes they're actually more stupid. Sometimes. Reinforcements have arrived. This guy doesn't really matter apart from just being bait. But if he, no, he, he, if we win here, he can't die. Kind of a weird situation with that. When he confederates, he gets whatever army they have left. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I want that giant. Normally, giants are total pieces of shit. But they serve a purpose in the early game for us. No, I don't shoot gobbos. What a waste. Yep, so what I'm doing here is just harassing them so that as few units come up this way as possible. I don't really care if this one here gets wiped out. I don't exactly need that. It's going to be pretty useless against the Warriors of Chaos. Let's get them. So shooting into the Gobos here because they're a nice big blob. Pasta Kun Sardina gave me the Chittle Super Chat. Is Grimgore still the best? Grimgore was never the best, but thanks for the Super Chat. Don't think that giant's actually going to be able to kill any of the uh, Black Orcs until their leadership drops down a certain threshold, which will take some time. Okay, Grimgore needs to go duel this dude. Okay, they might seem like they're taking casualties, but it's quite possible that they're not. <laughs> Due to the sort of weird way that works with the... Uh, eh, maybe they're taking casualties, I'm not sure. Their leadership hasn't dropped. 
So we'll see at the end of the battle if they actually took casualties. Usually they don't. Doesn't matter if we wound him. Not one bit, because they'll just replace it with another lord. Yeah, look, look, look. You can see that there are some black orcs in here that don't have the green thing around them. They're still alive. Alright, we need to start doing some damage to the giant. Even though I want to keep it alive, that doesn't mean we have to kill it. Or leave it undamaged completely. Can we take that out? Uh, Wolf's pulled at a 5 year super chat. Then I just want you to know there is a magic cheese in the Warriors of Chaos add on. Up to 4 magic passives, and I will look for more. Thanks for your work. Alright, no worries, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Um, that's cool, dude. Yeah, I'm not really going to focus on the Warriors of Chaos stuff until the patch, which I guess is tomorrow, so. I'm fairly sure these Black Orcs are not dying. Fairly sure. I'm not 100% sure, though. Come on, where did army loss is that? Why are you annihilating this army? I don't want to. <laughs> Uh, Cesare Bazdiega did a 10 billion super chat. Hey, Legend, thanks for the content. Have a nice day. Alright, thanks, dude. You have a nice day, too. Michael Hoffman did a 10 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, Greaves from Germany. Thanks for all your content. Have a nice stream. Alright, thanks, dude. You too. Appreciate it. Um, K pop did an $8 super chat. Just wonder, what faction is the strongest at the moment in, De in Immortal Empires? Hard to say. I'm probably leaning towards Korn. But you could also argue for, um,. Uh, you could also argue for Helmen Gorst. Okay, stop shooting at that giant now. Come on, don't kill this giant. <laughs> Still looks like there's 80 of them there. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let's we'll see after the battle. Okay, there we go, there we go. Stop, stop, stop. There's the army losses. You may kill this dude. Kill him. But the, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Let everyone else go. Okay, cool, he's dead. The Black Hawks numbers dropped to 59. They're definitely dying. No, they didn't, see? That's what I'm talking about. None of them died. So what ends up happening, this happened in Warhammer 2 as well. Um, when a Black Orc is supposed to die, but it, it actually can't die because its leadership hasn't reached a certain point, what ends up happening is if it hits by something that knocks it on its ass, its model gets disconnected from its unit, but it doesn't actually die. That's why we didn't, that's why they're still at full strength there. So they still fight, just the numbers go down. Fletcher Reed became a member for 21 months. Anything I can do about skill point notification when certain heroes have more skill points unlocked than the hero skilled slots? Appreciate you. Short of downloading a skill point dump. Nope. Uh, yeah, mod. Alright. So I just wiped out one unit of Orc boys. But I'll get that giant. Alright, I'm going to take the replenishment because our next stop is... Um... Kolek. Yeah, that's it. Get your replenishment. Try to replenish as much as possible. Okay, form confederation with Tusk Sons. Yep. Done deal. Cool, and now we're in the red. And I have a shit giant. <laughs> Get out of the stance. Alright. Alright, we have about 10 turns worth of money. Um, Gork, send me to battle. Night Goblin War Bosses. Alright, I'm gonna keep. Uh, let's have a look here. How are we going for money? We're okay. We're okay. You 
Jesus. Okay. Despair involved fighting. So what I'm gonna do here is go into Raiden camp, stand here. You. Yeah, you'll force march. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. No, you won't. So I was gonna transfer the giant into Grimgore, but I don't know. Um, unborn pants. Are you going to do the Immortals build? Cheers. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't decided on that yet. Let's just get through the beginning first. Thanks Super Chat. I'm going to get rid of this one. Oh, hang on. Our money's not terrible. Uh, transfer these in here. This will give us more Raiden money. But yeah, if we use the um, the Night Goblin War Bosses, that's our walled city. We might be able to just sneak in with the Gobos and capture the settlement while they're all distracted. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't actually test that out. Uh, if I disband this guy here... Mm. here Move go. up a little bit. Because we've got to make sure we can hit that next turn. So there's Kolek. He's probably going to pick up a few units. I will recruit more orc boys, even though it's it's you know it's going to cost a lot, a lot of money, but that's okay because we got to just take Kolek out straight away. Um, yeah. If we merge them, they're not going to get replenishment. If I go into this territory, because it's red, they're not going to get any replenishment either. So just stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can here. Let's get ready for a big attack next turn. On turn 4, we're going to try and take out Kolek. See, I could probably transfer this Orc Boy in there. Nah. Nah, the, honestly, the Giant took a lot more damage than I would have liked, but... Even this one fighting for a little bit, I don't care if it gets killed in the battle, but if it just fighting for a little bit makes a dif difference. They're going to have, um... Ready for murdering. Yeah, let me just see here. Keep moving. What you want? Let me just move one tile closer. I need to make sure I can actually reach it. Hang on, doesn't this thing give us extra campaign movement range? Yeah, he does. Okay, we should we should reach it. Bring it. Let's go. Bossing them night goblins. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Should be fine. All right, uh, let's have a look at diplomacy. And camp doesn't give ten percent replenishment anymore. No. Nah. Alright, let me just check that. Great and powerful war boss. No. Now it enables replenishment in foreign territory, but it doesn't actually increase your replenishment rate at all. Tyrant. Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, we want to take them on. Okay, let's uh, let's see how we go. Did I lose a battle with Scarbrand? No. I actually continued playing it a little bit in my own time. Um, it's gotten to the point now where I'm, I'm never going to lose a battle, really. No, I, I didn't end up losing any battles. Scarbrand's faction is super strong. Alright. we got a bit of a fight ahead of us. See how we go.
Gotta keep in mind as well that Kolek is anti-large and he's only like rank 3 or something. What's he doing? Oh shit, he ran away. Well, that's gonna make it super easy to take the challenge stone now then. But that just mean he'll come back. Okay. The city in the settlement still give 10% replacement? Yes. Yes, it does. Alright then, I'll do it. Alright, okay, so let's talk to them. Offer to join war against Heralds of the Tempest for money. Uh, could get a defensive alliance with them, but. I th honestly would just settle for money. I think I want to be friends with Dolgan. I know I'm going to go to war with them, but I've, what I found out is that if you take out someone's vassal, you can peace out with them pretty quick. Like, straight away, pretty much. Um, that's at least from testing, so... Well done, boobies. There we go. The kid did a 20 SEK. Is there any particular reason for Grimgore's hard bo hardy boys? Gotta, gotta pick a faction, you know? Yeah, that was just something to do. <laughs> oh my god, what depleted his movement? This fucker got a war ball mount, that's what, luckily, luckily I still got enough movement, holy shit. If I didn't have enough movement, big probs. Alright, probably not the best of idea to occupy... Uh, sorry, to, to order resolve this, considering I expect Kodak to come straight back. Now, funny thing is, is that the um, the Warriors of Chaos can make these uh, walled settlements, but... Ready for everybody else doesn't. Hang on, Game any chance done. you can just... Moving out. No, I can't. I can't transfer it in. So you'll have to just stand there. Running! Now, when we, I know this is red territory here, and this is, I think, a lot of, what a lot of people uh, make a mistake with. Um, we don't occupy this. We take out Kolek, because I think he's standing right there, and then we just sell it to them. And then they'll like us, and then we just move on. And that way, we don't have to fight in the Chaos Waste for fucking 50 turns. We just move on. This is all entirely just about eliminating Kolek. That's it. So yeah, we can auto this. We can auto it. But I want to see if I can use my sneaky boys to just go in and cap it. Let's have a look at the map. Because I'd love to take zero casualties. You know me. Oh, yeah, this map is... A, uh, yeah, sometimes you can be sneaky, sometimes not so sneaky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah give it a shot. Alright, let's do it. Are the Orcs better or worse than Wormen 3? I think they're better. Just slightly. I think they're better. Um, how do the Greenskins compare to the Mortal Empire's counterpart? I think they're better. Uh, their economy got a small boost. You know, they don't suffer so much from supply lines. Um, melee infantry is more viable in Wormen 3. You know, I've been rolling around with melee infantry armies doing just fine. Are I want to answer that. Um, you got any interest in Victoria 3? No. No, no interest. Um, Michael Hoffman became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Like, I'd probably like the game. I just don't have any interest because I don't have time. That's all. What's the Legendary Lord defeat trait cap? I think it's 10, but some people have said it's just a total of 40. But I've never seen anyone get it above 10. Somebody's apparently sent me an email with someone that had more than 10, but I can't for the life of me find it. <laughs> I can't find that email. Um... So what we want to do, obviously, if we want to sneak in, then we need to get rid of some of these... How are we going to do this? Basic towers. Just thinking to attack from a blind spot. So, I don't know if this is going to work. But if it doesn't, then we just charge head... Head first and it'll be fine. I'll just bomb them in the meantime. And we, yeah, we're at our maximum range. And since their range is 350, we should be out of range there. Cool, cool, cool. And we just gotta wait for our gobos to come in. Alright, if we have a look. Man, 
And now we just, yeah, wait for them. So, the reason why I chose Night Goblin Big Bosses, which I would normally never get in Woma 2, but the reason I've chosen them is because they stalk. Alright, and you know what stalkers can do. Now, we have to hurry because they do tend to build barricades over here fairly quickly. Also, a lord is coming in from over here. So, we'll just see how that goes. It may not work. How do you like Carl's new defeat trait? I don't know what it is. Actually, what is it? Do you think Blackhawk spam is Dringor's meta? Mm, probably not. Probably not. It's probably too expensive. I don't think we really need to worry about these towers destroying them too much. Yeah, we don't. These, these shots here don't do a lot to buildings. So I'll just damage this stuff. At least we're getting killed. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Uh, Master Napiaseki did a 10 peel in Super Chat. Uh, Grimgore, played by Legend. What is this heresy? Hey, yep. Okay, thank you, Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, so they're stalking. And if we have a look over there, uh, they haven't yet built the barricades, but they will if we don't hurry. And we got a giant here, but we'll see how that goes. Big army. We're guaranteed to win, even if this doesn't work. But I want to see if it, this can work, because I'd like to keep this army in relatively good shape for Kolek's main force, which should just come straight back over here. You know, wherever possible, try to take no casualties. And I'm all about that sneaky git life. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this guy here is not moving. Alright, if he's not moving, I need to draw him away. I'm going to get these two to come over here. And maybe that'll pull him. I just can't. Maybe he is moving just really slowly. I just... Yeah, he is moving. Okay. Okay, units coming in over here. That's fine. We should be able to dodge that. They obviously want to put units up on the tower. Is Grimgore your most played orc faction? Mm, only because he's been around the longest, but... Uh, I'd say it's probably Grom. Uh, actually, no, I'd say it probably is Grimgore. Uh, gaming Big Chiefs did a $2 super chat. Carl trade is 10% experience for the entire army. Okay, that's better than what he used to have. So, yeah, it's alright. That is better than what he used to have. Uh, terror when fighting against the Empire. Absolute trash. But yeah, that is definitely better. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. This one here. Why is he tired? Do you hate greenskins? No, I don't hate any race. I just, um, I, they're just not one of my favorites, so I don't play them that often. You know, it's not simply a case of if you don't play it. If something's not your favorite, it doesn't mean that you hate it. You know, they're, they're a little bit one-dimensional, greenskins. I get a little bit bored in the late game. Alright, we're in. They built the barricades. Shit. Okay, there's still a chance we could just cap this one here instead. Because, yeah, I can't get in there now without fighting those barricades, which will um, take off our stalk. But this one here, it can't actually block all the ways in. And there's no one defending this position. So if we cap that and then get out of there, we'll just see how it goes. See how it goes. We may have to cap it a couple of times, but uh, we'll see. All right. 
breach the wall. Okay, that's fine. Just let it go. It's it's getting good kills, and we're not taking any damage. Because yeah, the AI just doesn't respond to their stuff being capped at all, especially if you've got them surrounded like this. They're like, oh my god, so many enemies must defend the walls. Walls more important than winning or losing the battle. Do the infinite magic trick still work? No, you can get infinite magic with some characters, but you have to really work hard to get it. So Teclas can do it. Any vampire account can do it with the um, particular item. I forget what it's called. Um, you guys know what it is, you'll tell me. And I believe Kairos can potentially do it, but you gotta work hard to do it. It's... yeah. So what we want to do here is cap it quickly. So get both of them to do it at the same time. That way if they do send some troops over here, we can get out of there before too long. Because if we look at this, they shouldn't budge. They'll just be like, oh, what? Are we losing a point? Must have been the wind. You know, AI intelligence set to Skyrim guard. You think the AI will nerf stalks so they can't cap zones? Yeah, they said what they're going to do is uh, make it so that when a unit is trying to cap a position, they immediately come out of stalk. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't cap points with st without stalking units. Um, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because they're just going to be a bit more alert to it. Black pre -apt. Yeah, the black parry up. That's it. That's it. Thanks, dude. Stalk should have a toggle. It should. Yeah, it definitely should. I, I agree with that. Cool. Because, yeah. If I start attacking that, we'll come out of stalk mode. They've got a bit of time before, before that happens, but they'll be lured over here. And we're capping the point, and they don't seem to care, so... Yeah, whatever. I'll cap these other points in the meantime, because why not? As long as they're safe. But yeah, all we gotta do now is just wait this out. So far, mission success. What about Unspottable, then? Hmm, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Did you have a chance to play with Festus? I think you'll like him a lot. I haven't. No, I haven't played him. Funny if we did this with actually Kolek inside. It this battle here would be a lot more difficult to sneak in um, with with a larger garrison. It's a fairly small garrison here. Speaking of which, we really need to make sure this guy here dies. So when the battle's over soon, we need to make sure these two here are fast enough to run him down. We should probably get them to recover their fatigue first because they came over the walls. You wasted all the artillery ammo, so close victory it is. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter if it's close or decisive. If they make capping a point reveal stalk, then standing on the walls reveal stalk immediately. I guess. All the barriers are connected to the victory point. Yeah, yeah, you can see here that these two barriers are connected to this one. If I start attacking it, we'll come out of stalk and then they'll activate. What happened to Scarbrand? Scarbrand won. We won the campaign. I didn't do full map completion, but we won. We got domination victory. I, I continued to play the campaign a little bit in my own time, honestly. I fought the High Elves a little bit, they didn't stand a chance. They d like... Chosen spam is so ridiculously strong in auto resolve, it's ridiculous. And I can recruit Chosen in one turn globally. Not that expensive either. So... I'm just in a really, really strong position in that campaign. And people, people are getting bored. People are getting bored. You know, it's my job to entertain people, and they were getting bored of it. Understandably. 
You know, it wasn't, it didn't have the thrill like the, uh, the Empire campaign did with, uh, Warhammer 2. <laughs> they just... Oh, man. If you can't go for the main one, go for the minor one. A little bit longer. Is there any mechanics content you really wish would add into Future of Warhammer 3? Yeah, I'd wish they'd add nudity. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I wish that they would... Uh, add back, like, meaningful population mechanics. Like, population surplus is not what I would call meaningful. So I need this guy here to die, because he's not standing inside the city. Theodore Carabra did a ten dollar super chat. How did Chosen of Corn perform? Really fucking good. Really good. You know, for somebody that's always like, "Ooh, I hate Chosen." I tell you what, those Chosen were really good um, because as you get more territory playing as Corn, you get more melee attack with your through your edicts. So I ended. I counted. I had thirty seven provinces. So I had a global bonus of thirty. There we go. Thirty seven percent extra melee attack for all my Chosen. So they were just hitting really bloody hard. Really, really hard. Stupidly strong in order resolve. Population classes would be great. Yeah, yeah, to some extent. I'm not looking for, like, overly complicated. Just, just population would be good. Um... I don't know, the way they did it in Medieval 2 and Rome 1 was the best. They they tried to do it again with um, Three Kingdoms, I just didn't really like it that much. Because it was just a stat modifier, where it wasn't meaningful. Chosen speed though? Yeah, I know, the speed's slow, but I don't know, you, you make do. Alright. Alright, we should be fine to loot and occupy. Because I'm just going to give it to them. If we have a look, we can get peace with them straight away. Without losing reliability, for some reason. Um, and we can give them the challenge stone, and they'll pay us some money. But I'm going to wait until next turn, because we need to wipe out Kolek. Kolek should come and attack us. Okay. Since that went so well, I think we can justify a little bit of merging here. Get rid of this shit. I think we'll be okay. Um, yep. Because we're not going to get any replenishment. Money is still a problem, but that's okay. Once we're, once we're through this, we should be fine. I'm fairly sure he'll attack us. Either that or he's going to come down here. Either way, he's lost his... Uh... Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's get Grimgore... Evasion chance, no. Raiding, uh, no. Loot, yeah, we do loot settlements a fair bit. That's green skins. Would be good to get through into here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Alright, well, we've got enough money to get through the next few turns. It's okay to run a negative economy with green skins a bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with, uh, with Kolek there. I'm fairly sure he'll attack us. Notice it's not a walled settlement anymore. Uh, we could build some stuff here. That will probably make it sell for a higher price for the, um, for the Norskins. Um. Nah, don't bother. Who cares? The, the main reason to sell it to them is just for the extra relationship. You're as brainless as your primitive gods to a... Uh-huh. Oh, Alright, now we just, uh, and we will just we'll see how we go. Okay, you've got to level up. Alright then, I'll do it. Alright, I probably don't need them commanded by two Boss armies, so I'm going to put wins. this one Going. here and get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, it saves a bit of money. Cool, cool, cool.
Yeah. All right, let's move on. And we'll see what Kerlek does. He's going to run into your territory, raise everything, and evade your armies as we did in my Grim campaign. Um, yeah, you'd think that, but if he doesn't have any territory, he usually guns for your army straight away. Okay, so we could order resolve this, or we could fight it manually, or... Okay, so let's just have a look here. So it's a minor city battle. What do you guys think? If we order resolve it, he's just done. We're finished with him. We will never see him again. <laughs> Colec gone on turn four. Um, if we fight him manually, uh, we do run the risk of losing. Because, you know, we got to wait for reinforcements to show up. Which will take, you know, a little bit of time. And, you know, these are fairly scary units. Fairly scary, some of them. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem, but I think I can handle... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Manually or... Order resolve? Because if we order resolve, it we really don't suffer at all. Yeah, we lose that one unit. You want to fight the defense? All right, we'll do. We'll fight the defense just because this campaign has gone really well so far. So let's give Kerlik a chance to defeat us. Like it says, close victory. So you know we should be fine. Why night goblin boss? Uh, we use the night goblins to uh, capture the settlement by sneaking in because they stalk. Ah shit! A lot of people saying auto. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's actually more people saying auto than manual. What do I love field battle more? Yeah, fair enough, but we're not going to get a field battle here. Or with, with uh, Kolek. Also, by fighting this battle manually, we get another chance to fight him. Uh, assuming we don't wound him in the battle. Gotta watch out for the Summoners of Rage, because they're going to pop down Chain Lightning, so blobbing up could be a mistake. At least until that's been done. Uh, all right, let's see how we're going to go about this. That hell cannon needs to be dealt with. Who's going to do that? All right, how fast are these? 64, 54, speed 70. All right, I'm going to send these goblins, right, because they don't matter, out here to activate the Summoners of Rage. They have to be in melee for a few seconds. So, if they use that on a bunch of goblins, they'll use it as soon as it's available to them. If they use it on a bunch of goblins, that's just going to be hilarious. Right. Now, in terms of defending this settlement type, usually I hold one of these positions. Because they're good. Because what we can do here... The AI actually tries to break through this stuff now, but what we can do is... Probably want to get that extra leadership. Oh, right, because I damaged the settlement. Um, that's okay. We'll just build more. Probably want the barricades more so than the towers right away. Um, you do get okay towers, I suppose, as greenskins, especially with the immortals getting the extra ten leadership here. Obviously, a big deal. Try not to blob it up too much. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So we've set it up so that hopefully the Summoners of Rage will shoot their load off early. Because we only have to hold on to one position. I think what I'll do is put these guys in a different position. Over here, just to distract some of these guys and just buy us a little bit of time. Alright, and we will see how we go. So, first thing we gotta do, try and take out that Hell Cannon. Really important. Then these ones here, they need to fight the Summoners of Rage.
I gotta get at that bloody hill cannon before it obliterates us. Shot missed. What the fuck are they doing? Holy crap. Dumbasses. Goblins! Who can we stab? Nice charge. Alright. Pretty funny when they use that chain lightning on a bunch of goblins. That wasn't a good charge. Alright, have we gone over here? It's just a fireball, no big deal. They would just use basic tables here. Uh, these guys here should be able to beat Chaos Trolls. Hmm, they actually didn't end up using it. Alright, reinforcements have arrived. I gotta get them in the city as quickly as I can. They didn't use it. Here we go. Moving fast. All right, that is a little bit of a concern that they might use that chain lightning on us. In, war, boss. in an actual intelligent Only way, one. or they might just not use it at all. He's going fine over here. Keep these summoners of rage away. Ready to bash. Wait, more power. Boy, they're really struggling against these trolls. Our guys are anti-large, and they're really struggling against them. I don't know if they can handle it. I don't think they can handle it. At least we got them off the artillery, that's something. We really lost half our troops there. Yeah, Dragon Ogre is not great in a blob here, but if the Summoners of Rage get over here, that's going to be a problem. Alright, do we have another tower we can build? Yeah, just, just build relatively basic towers. So yeah, my uh, Orca Boy Boy Biggins can't handle Chaos Trolls. Now we know. Them capping points, no big deal. Didn't do it. Alright, Summoners of Rage. They likely got that Chain Lightning ready. Yeah, they've still got it. Gotta do something about that. Grimgore, come over here and kill this fire wizard. He is slower than you, so you should be able to kill him pretty easily. 
They should go with you. Colex coming in over here. Oh, they're in skirmish mode. Fucking hell. Dumbasses. Alright, I think this, uh, the Black Orcs should be fine fighting the Summoners of Rage. If they pop down the Chain Lightning on them, it should be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's get this down. Doesn't matter about being totally organized there. Just get in here. He doesn't have any, yeah, he doesn't have his special abilities yet. He's got Warbreaker. Good, the wizard's dead. Alright, we gotta get rid of these summoners of rage. Orc boys over here are handling themselves okay. Might be a good idea to pull this guy back. And just try to keep the casualties kind of spread out a little bit. Just a bit. Obviously, Kolek will do some damage. Can't really stop that. Yep, pull this guy back. Go about the artillery. Okay, it's been capped. Let's move into the center. Oh, good. They've used it up. They've used it up. Cool. Okay, cool. cool. Grimgore's taking a bit of damage, but he's okay. How's Kolek doing? Uh, yeah, he could probably fight out here for quite some time. These guys here have run out of ammo. Can't use that from that distance. Okay, I'm gonna send some more guys over here. Alright, I got a lot of supplies, so we should maybe think about building another tower or two. Basic units there, not a huge concern. Alright, you careful. You're no match for Kolek. Alright, let's bring Grimgore over here so we can keep debuffing Kolek. Got rid of the Summoners of Rage. Uh, we should probably make sure that they don't leave the settlement. Okay, we need for other units to be taking damage here. Can't just all be these ones. Have I unsawed one or two? No, not yet. The giant over here. How do we go over here? Yep. Still playing chaos music. That's a little bit of a concern. Should be playing green skin music. I don't know how the game can think that we're not winning. Oh, shit. No, you're supposed to go the other way. Other way. I don't know if I'm going to catch him in time now. Oh, there we go. There's the army losses. Oh, 
Okay, maybe try to take out Kulik. And there we go. They're doing damage, but I don't think they're going to kill him. Maybe if I get ahead of him. No, I don't think I can. He's actually faster than us. Alright, never mind. How much worth Kolok if you kill him? Oh, fair bit. Alright, so looking at the damage to his army, most of his army was obliterated. If we had auto resolved it, he would have wiped it out completely. The worst thing about being in this position here, this, this settlement, is no replenishment. So, once again, the Immortals took no casualties. In my Zhao Ming campaign, I brought a minor settlement for Miao Ying for 13 guild. After the deal, she said, very well. Okay. Good, a lot of money. I'll take that. Yeah, take the money, because after we've wiped him out... Uh, where's he going to go? Don't run off. Stay close. Fuck. I don't know if I'll catch him. Probably should have auto resolved it in hindsight. I would have wiped him out. A quest has been no. issued. No, no, shut Lord. up. A great adventure. Becomes. No time for that. Be wary, though. For while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. All right, we got him. We got him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Fist. All right, you, however, I want you to. Force March. Force March to here. Move in out. And Grimgore will sort this out. We'll be trespassing on their territory, but that's okay. And this time we get rid of him for good. And that's how you get rid of Grim uh, Colex super early. Kolek out of the way. Heralds of the Tempest destroyed. Okay, now, the challenge stone. Must I, I don't want it. With green skins. They and they're going to pay me like some money. I think it would be good to get... Uh, to sell it to them for money. We, we could probably get this stuff later. Oh, look at that. They, they actually can't properly afford it yet. Maybe I'll hold on to it for one more turn. Yeah, they, they actually don't have enough money to, to pay for it fully. Alright, and this over here seems unlikely to declare war on us, considering we just saved their ass as well. Hmm. I actually do get an okay amount of replenishment. So, our next stop is to, I think, fight these guys here and then move into the Darklands. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably going to piss them off, but... Whatever, I gotta, I gotta replenish. Do I even really want this guy in a war bore? Take him off it. Night Cobo War Boss! Ready for bossing! Gobo War Boss! 
Cool. Yeah, it would be good to reduce upkeep costs. Okay, we're almost making money again. Almost. But we've got plenty of reserves here, so let's see. What should we upgrade? Let's get uh, Swin uh, Saber Mountain sorted. We could demolish this temporarily and just rebuild it later. Only cost... It's, it's very cheap to build. Just because I need money and growth. Gotta get shit going. Do we build salt here? No, we don't build salt. Um... Yeah, these guys here are next. Okay, cool. Uh, did you know there isn't a cool down on expanding under Empire with Warlock Engineers? Yep, I did know that. Why not Gobbo Shaman? Mm. We needed a Stalker. That's why I got this dude. Gobbo Shamans don't stalk. Alright. Alright, alright. Sounds good. Alright. So, now we need... This, because I need to get the Healy Mushrooms so that we can uh, replenish our casualties as we continue to fight. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the barracks because I don't see myself recruiting any more units for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Why not pass the Giant to Grimgore? I would have, but there was no convenient opportunity to do so. Grimgore doesn't boost it at all, so it doesn't matter which army it's in. Is equipping horse worth it now? Or is it still a bad mount? Depends on the situation. If it's for combat, bad. If it's for capping points, good. I could sell this over to them. Hmm. Gonna be mine. I'll get way less for it. He doesn't want that much. No, I'll get way less. Um, the Dolgan will give me... Yeah, they'll give me a lot more. Fun. They're offering more, but it's still not quite there. Oh, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, all right. I'll t I'll take that deal. You have my faith. Cause I don't want that settlement. It's friggin' red. Can't make. Can't do with it. Red. Cool. And now let's. That's what Mork wants. Uh, which way should we go? I bet you Great have a little look over horse. this way. Just a little looky. Doing one. All right. Bossy's orders. Alright, if I go this way, I can get there a little bit sooner, but it's probably going to be about the same amount of time, either way. Yeah, it should be fine. Go that way. Cool. Bit of replenishment. Not heaps. Have you tested out Volkmar yet? No. Not yet. Okay. Got some regiment for now. Should I need it? Which probably don't need it right now. And this guy here just going to ambush stance. I guess it's possible that this guy here. All right, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, no. This next turn, Happy we might well. be able to get him to launch the attack and have Grimgore actually force march to reinforce. Uh, it all just depends it on. Ooh, it all just depends on. Um, I don't know what the right decision is. Uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, over here, we do need to make more money. But we'll go with growth first, because honestly, the money's not that big of a deal, and I'd like it to grow a bit faster. Cool. Any other diplomacy we can do? No trade agreements. No, it's all good. Let's go. Yeah, smack these gits as soon as possible. Okay, public order here is not looking great. Oh, what? Greenskin have confederation penalties. Was that in Warhammer 2? I feel like it wasn't in Warhammer 2. Was that... Was that in Warhammer 2? Hmm. Huh. I can't remember. You guys let me know. I didn't realize it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Was it? That... 
The war is the will of the boisterous and belligerent brother gods of the Greenskins. Kill the fatties, income from and raiding. Kill the boys, leadership faction wise. Will bring their favor. Be it brutally cunning or cunningly. None of these are good war targets. It wasn't? I thought so. <laughs> My public orders. Ready, Confederate, though? The Tusked Sons. I didn't realize there was a confederation panel. It's not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm pretty sure public order is still going to maintain. Because it's only going to last two more turns. And what are they doing? What are you doing? Alright, yeah, you stay there. Load a save file. No, it's on legendary. Alright, Grimgore might actually be able to show up as reinforcements without needing to be in force march. And this guy. Yep. Alright. Oh, they have no enemies. Well, I'll change that. Oh no! Look at all those noblars! What are we gonna do about that? Are those noblars boosted at all? Yeah, a little bit by that. Okay, bring Grimgore in. Alright, if we auto resolve this, we won't have to do a minor city siege and it'll wipe out this army, most likely. So let's do that. Yeah. Spreading out the casualties pretty evenly. I'm fairly happy with that. And just occupy it. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we really need that extra replenishment rate because it's um it's not great at the moment. I could really use a fishy tittle muncher. The uh, what's it called? <laughs> no, that's Grom's one. Uh, I could use the uh... yeah, it is the uh, giant river troll hag. But yeah, we're in good position now to finish them off. They're really weak. That's all just going really well. So we got Gorge of Rock. We can pick up some more boys if we want. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with a few more boys. Just a couple more. What about you? You want some more boys? Nah, we don't need more boys there. Cool. And Grimgore. Yeah. You... So looking at this stuff here, oh, Vigor Loss Reduction minus 20%. I'm pretty sure that used to be minus 33%, so you actually need five of them now instead of three. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. They nerfed it. Fucking nerfs. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. All good there. That's not a problem. And how are we going over here? Trying to push me around is the last decision like you'll ever make. This is curious. All right, cool. I don't see anything else that needs to be done here. So yeah, then we come into here and uh, confederate somebody else, I guess. Uh, yeah, that public order is a little bit of a concern. 
Uh, if we're going to set up another confederation. Once it's done next turn, we'll start making public order at plus one per turn. There are some public order techs in here, I believe. Um, uh, pulling teeth, no. No complaining, that's it. Uh, which is pretty early in the tech tree. Alright, all good. Sharper stabbers. Nah, I don't really need any of this stuff here. Cool, let's move on. I don't know if it's a bug, but when I'm creating blood hosts, they're spawning with only one turn before attrition. Not sure if you encounter this in your save. Yeah, that happens if you create blood hosts with blood hosts. If you create a blood host with an army. What? If you create a blood host with an army, it should give you four turns. Uh, trolls vegetal or animal and are hags their wives? Uh, what? They're, they're not fungus like uh, green skins. They're not a green skin. Alright, uh, leadership or. Yeah, I don't intend to recruit that much more right now. Alright, they're probably going to send an army up through to Granite Spike. But we should finish up with these guys here before they rebuild. I, if I end up losing a settlement, who cares? Uh, I don't. Um, what are they doing here? What are they doing here? Oh, they're on their way to go kill them, I think. This conversation yeah. only. Right. Yes. Could kill them myself. Easy army. But, you know, our replacement rates just aren't quite there yet. If I send this guy back to Granite Spike, he'll be able to defend the settlement. But then Grimgore has to do it all by himself. There's currently six... Yeah, it's a pretty big army. Pretty big. Only what I listen to is me. This war. <laughs> war boss, isn't it? Who needs stabbing? Okay, now Grimgore's got the uh, troll. That uh, troll, the giant. Giant piece of shit. Okay, uh, don't upgrade any of these settlements because these guys here declared war. And I, I saw them swing around this way. So, I could recruit some forces over here to help defend against it. Um, but, you know, that'll require money. Which I have. Oh, there's a thing here. Big Fort. Hey, it's the Black Orc thing that used to be at um, uh, Black Crag. They moved it. Huh, okay. Well, that's Tier 4, so don't build that now. Public order probably would be good to build at some point. It won't take us too long to get the tier 3. Uh, for public order, I, I imagine that this is going to delay us a little bit now. Is the 10% casualty replenishment tech worth rushing first thing? Yeah, because it basically doubles the amount of healing you get. It, it is pretty good. So I can go with 250 gold, actually 375 gold, or can maintain public order. Yeah, let's go with gold. I'll figure out public order. Because, yeah, this one here does give us a goblin big boss, and I do want them. All in due time, all in due time. Alright, Blizzard Peak should be fine for now. And yeah, I think we should recruit an army over here to get ready to defend against this. So, best thing for that would probably... Be, ooh, disciplined. Um, could be a wizard, because it has Itchy Nuisance, I think. Yeah, Itchy Nuisance is a really good spell. Right, let's chuck this guy in. The tribe's ready. 
and ooh, no, nah, not worth it. Just get off, boys. Yeah, money is the problem. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just see here. If ogres start coming down, it might help to have some archers since they're quite vulnerable to it. And how long do we have for this three turns? They'll likely be here before then. I'm not sure how we're going to defend it. I've got Regiment of Renown as well. Eh, I got money. Let's just do it. Do it at um, Granite Spike. No, you know what? Do it at Gorge of Rot. Mm, actually, I'm not sure. They might swing back around here as well. Best we just wait. Best we just wait. I don't know which settlement we should def uh, develop. Neither of them are particularly safe until this is done. Moving on. Jonathan Atula, Super Chat. What was your favorite campaign in the last two years? And <laughs> I fight so many. Um. I don't have a favorite. This is Total Wicket Claw, I'd say. That was two years ago, wasn't it? Did you know Goblin Bosses now have chariots now? Oh, really? That's cool. Don't know if that makes them a whole lot better, but uh, that's cool they have that option. Alright, they just ruined World Karag Vrag. I just got a hero. Not Goblin Shaman. Alright, if I... That means that they can probably reach Gorge or Rock over the end turn. Oh, but their... Their lord is... Friggin' weak as hell. I know I could have sent it over here to attach, but I don't need it. Um... I want intel over this way. Gorgorok doesn't have much of a garrison though. So maybe I need to send this guy back over here. But Grimgore would have to deal with this by himself. So looking at that. Looking at it. He... Probably going up against majority Noblars. Probably. That's what Mork wants. Might even be able to auto resolve it. Because, yeah, I think this guy needs to come over to Gorge Rock and defend it. Well, let's just go have a look at this. Let's see what it says. Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, a lot of Noblars. Nobly Noblars. Hmm. Losing a whole bunch of Orc boys is not a big deal. And then that's the end of them. That way this guy is now able to look after this. Yeah, just occupy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we've met the Greenskins down here, which they like us, which I don't really care. I'll look there, we're on them. The first moment it's convenient for me. Looking at these guys here, we're stronger than them. It just depends on where they're going to attack. Uh, Grimgore's position here should be pretty safe. We can't build walls in this position. Okay, so let's um, upgrade Eagle Eries. And get the control and growth. Yep. 
Alright, who should get the recruits? Probably this one here. Yeah. I'm the boss. And one more over to Grimgore. Cool, saving us a little bit of cash. And then we start taking these idiots out. Cool. Mm -hmm. Give me some more money. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. You just sent so many green boys to their deaths. That's okay. Dude, just replace them. This is uh, orc boys. We have we can recruit them here. Didn't lose anything we couldn't replace. The only thing is that they had a little bit of experience, but as long as we don't lose the black orcs here, that's all that really matters, I think. Even the giant um, isn't that big of a deal. Okay, so next stop we go Karak Vlag, no, then Titan's Notch, then YT Peak. Definitely want to smash all these gits, but... If the ogres are going to just keep declaring war on us, which they probably will, then we got to take them out. And this is all green territory out here, so it's all money. Alright, let's move on. Do you think they should nerf Quad's water resort power? No. Blood forged armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. 15% ward save. But, you know, his army is not ready for that yet. Your horde still. Come on, get out of my way. Alright, so we got an undercity here. Is it particularly bad? It's from Clan Ferric. And they're building a fucking. Um, yeah, they're building a thing. A um, vermin tide. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. All right. All right. Now, spell time. Let's see what's going on over here. This way. Yeah. Okay, I thought there'd be an army coming up this way, but there isn't. All right, Grimgore needs to get over to Gorja Rock. I'm the best. If we have a look over here, they have a military presence of nine, but they haven't actually built the settlement up yet. Let me have a little look. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, there's, there's a few. There's a few ogres there. A few. Okay, we're still stronger than them. So if all of their forces are here, then it should be fine for Grimgore to force march. Can I use this instead? No. Force march to Gorja Rock. And then have this guy transfer. Hang on, what if I go into ambush stance? 50%. Let me just see if there's any cunning characters. No. Night of a war boss. Who's the boss? Let's go. Hmm. Just thinking. Because what I could do here is go into ambush dance to lure them to come and attack us. If we have a look here, they're not even developing this, so they haven't got any defenses there yet. Who can I stab, sir? Or I could just put them all into Grimgore. But I think tricking them to come out over here would be a bit better. So I'm going to put this guy Out behind us. I'm going to transfer just this Moving. unit in there so we can get more replenishment. And I'll take these ones out of Grimgore's army to weaken ourselves just a little bit. Ah, oh, crap. I was going to go into Ambush Dance. Ah, <laughs> whoops. Too late now. Oh, hang on, hang on. What if I give it back? What if I give it back? Okay, I got my movement back. Okay, cool. And then go into ambush dance and then transfer those two units. That way, it doesn't look like Grimgore's got a whole lot of strength there. 
and we're luring them out to come and attack us in a defensible position. I know we're in Force March, but you know, this guy's gonna come in and help pretty quick. And that's probably full of Noblars anyway. And what I could probably do here as well is have this one go and attack this way. That way they don't have to bother with and go hit that one over there. That actually could work out pretty well. And if they swing around over here, well then Grimgore's got them. Alright, I'll put this guy here on Ambush Dance as well. Okay, that way if they look at Granite Sparks and be like, Ooh, I'm going to go after the easy target and they run over to here, I can hit him. Because I'm not sure if Grimgore's got enough range. He should, but I'm just not sure. Yeah, not entirely sure about that. Alright, now we need the Healy Mushrooms. Uh, can Orc Boys win against Ogre Bulls? I don't think so. I don't think so, but I think most of them are Noblars. Looking at their strength ranking, it doesn't show that they're particularly good. Uh, and they're taking attrition on top of that. Because he's got no meat. So we're setting up some traps. Because, you know, the AI is a goddamn coward. You know how it is. Alright, over here. Uh, let's just get growth. The tribe's ready! Yeah, stay yeah, about there. It. No recruiting this turn. I don't think we need to. We've got enough troops. Cool. All that looks good. Ready to strike. It all just depends on whether or not they you know, look at this and be like, ooh, I'm going to attack, or they come over here this way. Or even... What if they go there? All right, all right. Now, if they go in that direction, Grimgore will likely be able to catch him. Yeah, quite likely be able to catch them. Probably just make sure. Just put somebody here anyway. It's only a supply line. Ah! Nah, that'd be fine. I got lots of money. Okay, that way, whatever decision they make, they're screwed unless they run away. That's the only way that they're not actually screwed. Is Discipline the best trade for Blood Reapers? Yep. Promise without Major Settlement? Yeah, that happens in the Mountains of Morn. They don't get Major Settlements out this way. Alright, here they come. Oh wait, I think they already had their turn. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> they, they chose not to do anything. Okay. Such ingenuity, my lord. Using your scrap, you have successfully improved your battle kit. I'll crush them all. That didn't do anything. No, Alright, now, are lost. they still here? We can have a look. Yeah, I think they're still here. They still haven't built the defenses there. Uh, we can have a little bit of a look around here. Alright! Move, move! Yep. Only one yep, and they're sitting there taking attrition, moved. so... I think they are screwed. Going. All right then. I'll do it. I'm the one true git. Hmm. Okay, well I could fight it, but it is a... <laughs> it's a... Siege. Everyone loves sieges, right? Or we could order resolve it and just be done with them, with medium casualties. Which, honestly, isn't that bad. We just replace them. Bloop! <laughs> cool. Done deal. What heroes would be good to steal? Uh, really, anything. Anything that's not part of your capacity. Because sometimes, um, sometimes uh, enemy heroes, well, other factions' heroes will use your capacity. So, for example, if you're playing as Korn, and you've got a um, exalted champion of Korn, and then you steal a... Uh, let's see, let's see. Like a... a um, I think the equivalent is a... Black Orc Big Boss, it'll use up your capacity for those, and I think they're better than a Black Orc Big Boss. 
So it just depends. Whereas if you steal a wizard of some kind, it's not going to use up your capacity. Anything you say. Alright, so they are completely out of armies now. Loop 4X did a 5 euro super chat. Why not fight? Wasn't much of a fight. Save, save the time for, you know, more important fights. Okay, this is a major settlement with gems, which we can't build. Oh, we can build. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The shinies. Okay, cool. Alright. Wasn't an interesting fight. Wasn't worth my time. Don't push me. Okay. Double war boss. Cool. Transfer them into here because he'll get more replenishment. And also reduce those upkeep costs. Yeah, he doesn't have replenishment rate in his um thing, does he? Cool. And this one over here. With nine units, I think we're going to struggle. Oh, yeah, we're going to struggle a fair bit. They're building extra defenses. I might need to send this guy in to come and help him out. Minus 100% gen. It's because I'm raiding. It's because I'm raiding. I haven't built the thing yet, so just don't worry about it. It's because I'm in raid stance, which we don't need to be in raid stance. It's not going to get anything oh, out of it. But yeah, if you have a look at it now, it's not a minus 100%. When you raid your own regions, you lose all the income in that region. Alright, yeah, you need to be reducing upkeep costs as well. Thanks for speaking Greece again. That's okay. Hope you're enjoying it. Okay, and... We're, we're pretty much clear to upgrade this. Let's do the Gorgia Rock one, because, um... Yeah, let's just do that one. Okay, and over here... Good, more money, more growth. Get the stuff going. Still pretty good for money. You got 16 grand. If we see a Cathay Caravan... Gotta hit that ass. You know how it is. Um... Mm-hmm. Ready. Ready for bossing. Yeah. Hmm, can't recruit anything here. Yeah. I suppose okay, I yeah, he sh uh, he should be able to come and assist over here if we absolutely need it. And Grimgore's got not a full stack, but that's okay. Because, yeah, I need to take these guys out here. How many settlements do they have? Just the one. And they're off fighting Slaves of Tsar. Okay. Alright, what are we doing? All that stuff looks good. Let's have a look at diplomacy and see what's going on. No, leave them. Good, they're quite friendly. Cool, cool, cool. They almost want a military access, which I'll give it to them. Uh, are they... Yeah, they're they're holding on. Good. Actually, let me look at these guys. Mm, they're still kind of stronger. Okay, okay. A chosen or aspiring champion is better for Archeon. Probably aspiring champions. But you can go with... Yeah, aspiring champions. They're really good right now. So hot right now. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, big garrison there. Okay, let's move on. Already steamrolling turn 11? I'm not really steamrolling. Um, it's just the enemies are not particularly tough yet. Have you played any campaign in the late game and have you noticed the turn times? Uh, what would you say is the late campaign? I played to about turn 100. 120 is sort of like the latest I've played. And I thought the end turn times were fine. I don't really want mind too much about end turn times because, you know, yeah, they're thinking. Nah, no, nah, no, man, nah. No. <laughs> nah. No. How am I going to smash you if we're going on Aggression Pact? Have you watched Lord of the Rings Seasons 1? No, I'm not really interested in it. I'm not hearing great things about it. Apparently, it's really slow paced. 
Just don't know. Now, this way. Well, it would be good to get these gems. We gotta get the growth rate up. We're okay for cash right now. Okay, now this guy needs to come down here and fight this. Are we are we live? Okay, okay, now we're live. Now we're live. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it took a little bit to get going there. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, it was just a bit of internet maintenance. It happens because it's midnight. This, this happens like once a month, I guess. No big deal. Alright, so... Tending the spiders. What we can do here is bring this guy in as well. I could bring Grimgore, but... It really does depend if we want to fight this in order or not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to declare war on these guys right now. Because if I do that, if I do bring Grimgore over here, the auto resolve will be super comfy. Alright, bring this guy in. You attach over to here. And then, yeah, bring Grimgore in. I mean, whatever. Good. That way we can just auto this. This is just a, it's just a minor city siege against the grab, uh, garrison. Yeah, no units are gonna get wiped out. It's all good. I know you guys don't want to see another shit minor city siege, so we'll skip it if we can. Uh, second occupy. Nah, just occupy it. Seems YouTube didn't sync. Yeah, it didn't sync. I had to refresh it as well. Cool. All right, how's the damage? That was a damage. Wow. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Alright, now that one's there got 14 units. Alright, I'm gonna keep this guy here for the time being. I'm gonna switch this one out. Uh, Alright, what you do? Transfer those units into here. 21. Okay, then you take one of them out. This army here is not that damaged. I want you to come out. I want Grimgore to force march in. And transfer this one into Grimgore. And then we'll see this guy when we actually need to do a siege. So, don't need to have any of that. And that way we've got some spellcasters here. Cool. Cool. And we're in the green for the first time in a while. Sort of. And we have two full stacks. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, I think that works out. Alright, we need to put points into magic with this dude. Yeah, is that all we got? Ah, I could have done it with this one. Eh, get items. Am I going to keep this one? I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. And what we want here is growth. We want to grow faster. Because, yeah, money's, money's pretty good. And these guys here, they're ready for peace. Um, I don't think we should give them peace, to be honest. I think we should just kill them. Because we're able to do that. And that would just eliminate an annoying enemy so we don't have to deal with them again. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on with the war? We haven't actually increased in this in a while. Doesn't seem to fill up. It, it says it's at full. Yeah, we're at a hundred, but the the red mark over here. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, and eagle eeries. We can build this, which reduces upkeep cost for squigs. Nah, that's crap. I don't really use squigs. Not bad units, but I don't really use them. Cool. Cool. Yeah, we should definitely just keep smashing all these ogres, because otherwise they're just going to declare war on us. Um, if we there. can be friends with this guy up in the north, that would be both. good. 
There's village over here. In agreement. Did your cash still okay? Um, I, I, I kind of feel... I saw that there was a lot of people saying, we have enough cash or something. It must have been the last thing I said before the game crashed out, and now people are memeing on it. That's great. But I got, I got more important things to do, okay? Our cash is okay. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be better to switch to Shaman to Giant? Let's go. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't really make any difference right now. Because Grimgore is reducing upkeep costs, so we won't hit the giant in his army, I think. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The good thing about the Mountains of Morn, right, is that they are mountains, so... Cathay can't just jump over here. They have to come in through the choke points if they declare war on us, which they probably will. Now, I do want to be heading east. Um, but we got to deal with these threats out here. And they're, they're okay settlements. They're okay. I mean, we can't ever build walls or anything, but it, they're okay. All right, looks like we're good here. Let's have a look at a little bit of diplomacy, maybe. No, d fuck those guys. Now we're good. Oh, now these ones here don't want peace. That's weird. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Cool. And let's move on. Just jumped in. Is Kolek dead? Yeah, I killed Kolek, like, straight away. Yeah, but you wouldn't want a siege attacker just in case that second army and some magic for Grimgore. Right. Um, we don't need siege attackers in the Mountains of Morn because there are never any walled sieges. It's a good point. It's a good point. But out here, we don't need it. And now I'm going to be sending Grimgore away. Uh, yeah, this army is going to take this on by itself and Grimgore is going to go the other way. This guy is going to go by himself. Should be able to manage. And Grimgore is going to force march back to Karag Vlag. In order to continue replenishing. Before heading to Black Fang. Mm -hmm. They have a small army somewhere. And this one is going to go by itself to sort this out. Which I imagine we will win. to fight him manually. Alright, I don't think it's going to be a problem because Ogre Bulls are pretty damn weak to Goblin Archers and we have Itchy Nuisance and a decent amount of wins, but it does have to be fought manually. They don't have a wizard, so... Yeah, they took the wizards out of the garrisons bloody everywhere. I don't know why they did that. I feel like every settlement should have a wizard in the garrison because that actually makes it as the player, you can do a lot with with a wizard in the garrison. You know what I really feel like they should be doing? They should have like leveled up characters that's that don't move, that stay in garrisons. I think like garrison commanders. That'd be cool if they did that. Yeah. And it'd also be cool if you could take the garrison from your city and you could attack armies that were like nearby that were like raiding but you cannot leave like the province like your garrison army is tethered to your city and if your garrison isn't sitting inside your city when it gets attacked gone uh, there's a lot of things that i do if i if i can make some changes happy with things how they are but things could definitely be better you should be able to embed heroes into garrisons. Yeah, maybe. Like Adamans and Kislev. Sort of, sort of, but imagine if you could take the garrison. You know how sometimes, like, one lord will sit in your area and just, like, raid it? Or, like, a really damaged army will just sit there and raid, and you just have to recruit an army to go chase them down. Wouldn't it be good if you could just take your garrison and just attack it? Just go and attack it. And then just get back in the city. But the garrison can't leave the region. Or can't leave a certain vicinity. It's like tethered to the city. It has to get back. Alright, 
All right, they have no area of effect stuff. So we just fucking charge. Just charge in, and I'll just try to fit in as many archers as I can. Oh, we don't have itchy nuisance. We have sneaky stabbing. Oh. Wait. It said we had itchy nuisance. It did, didn't it? These these lords are supposed to have itchy nuisance by default. Am I not mistaken there? I feel gypped. Like sneaky stabbing's okay, but itchy nuisance is better. Because the reason why Itchy Nuisance is better is because it affects an area of effect. Which is always better than single, you know, targeting, especially when you're in a blob. Yeah, put him in there too close. Why are you always blobbing? So, in case you're wondering, why am I always blobbing, right? I don't worry about what they can do. If they don't have area effect damage, they can't do much. But when you blob like this, they all boost the leadership of each other to a certain degree, and it allows them to just keep fighting. Also, it spreads out the damage nice and evenly. Imagine a fire storm in that alley. Yep, but they don't have that. So I don't worry about things that they don't have. Oh my god, imagine if they had a dragon here. Yeah, well, they don't recruit those units. Imagine what would they do if they used this, a doom rocket? Well, they don't have a doom rocket. You know, don't worry about things that they don't have. Garden engine, you totally lose the battle if they used a nuke. Uh huh. I'm the best. Oh my god, engine, why don't you prepare for the impossibility of them having a nuke? Yeah, I think I might be doing it a little bit. Okay, damage with the gobos. 6,000 damage with that one. Oh my god, Legend, what if they had a Dreadnought from 40k? They'd totally kill your army. Oh my god, Legend, what if they had Lubu? Them and for ogres. I legend you're getting shot by towers. Okay, noblars don't have shields, so shooting into a blob of them is fine. Ninja's such a noob. He effectively uses blobs instead of spreading out his units and taking massive casualties. What a noob. Imagine if someone farted in that crowd. Uh, probably would have happened given that the ogres were there. Um, ogres are... You know, they're a bit gassy. What happens when you have a... 
meat focused diet. They need to eat some greens! <laughs> I don't think the sneaky stabbing is having any real impact. Yeah, they don't do that. They'll only build a cannon tower if we destroy their towers and they rebuild it. So all you gotta do is just not destroy their towers. Salty today. Hey, I'm salty every day, dude. They don't call me the Salt King for nothing. What do me and your bulls have in common? We're both really salty. <laughs> or something. Does lack of meat affect AI Mega Cheats? Uh, I'm not sure. I thought it was the, the Cheese King. Uh, cheese and salt go pretty well together, I think. Salty cheese. That's a nice... Okay, these two here just finished. Get them out of here. That ogre might come back, so let's vindictive glare it so it doesn't. Did they remove the option to place Lords in War armies? Uh, they may have, I'm not sure. I'm going into this pretty blind, so we'll have a look, we'll see if I can do it. I know the AI doesn't do it anymore. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Cool. I think that worked out pretty well. Way better than what Order Resolve would have yielded. Decisive victory, not bad. Can you name a few things that ogres don't eat? Um, ogres will eat anything that is actually food. Like any organic material. And even then, they'll like, eat lava and shit like that. Do you think they'll ever add a new difficulty? I find Warmer 3 so much easier than Warmer 2 to the point it's boring. Yeah, I feel you with that. I feel you. Um, I think they're just going to tweak Legendary difficulty a bit and give the AI more cheats and aggression. And guys, I did mention it earlier in the stream. 
but I did actually test out normal difficulty and legendary difficulty today. Played a Kislev campaign, one on normal, one on legendary, back to back, and I can safely say normal difficulty is not harder than legendary. That is bullshit. And I understand exactly why people were saying that it was. That is a hundred percent bullshit. The tribe's ready. Okay, no, he didn't have itchy nuisance. I could have sworn he did. Oh well, now he's got it. Uh, Gorkul fixer is sneaky stealing. That's honestly crap. Um, yeah, Gork will fix it. No, I get this. Can you show the difference? Uh, look, it'd be just easier if I just talk about Should be back up. Just, uh, go back? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the stream to, uh, come through on my end. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're back. Cool. Alright. It's just one of those days. These things happen. I don't, I'd rather not dwell on it. These things happen. It is what it is. Alright, let's get growth over there. We're actually in the green with two full armies. That's pretty good. Like... Economy-wise, I mean, we don't have much territory, and we're able to sustain two full <laughs> shit stacks, I guess. All right, cool, 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 cool. Grimgor has no missile units in his army, though, but I did boost the the orcs. All right, all right, all right. So with this one here, I don't know if it's going to be able to take on. Oh, because they're weak. Too weak. Now that we do have vindictive glare, we should be able to handle it. Alright. Alright, we've got more construction to do. Yep. And yep. And. Yeah, let's get that going there. Cool. Now tell us about normal versus legendary. Yes, that's where we left off. That's right. Okay. So. While waiting for people to come back, I guess it's a good opportunity to explain about normal versus legendary. So this is from my understandings. If you play a legendary difficulty campaign, typically speaking, especially if you're playing on very hard battles, you're typically speaking fighting a lot of battles manually. And if you're a legendary difficulty player, typically speaking, you are trying to take minimal casualties. If you take minimal casualties in every battle, it'll keep your balance, like keep your strength ranking. This relatively high right now if you're playing on normal difficulty and you're a little bit on the you know lazy side i suppose is one way to put it you're probably auto resolving a fair bit so if you're on normal battle difficulty and you're on normal campaign difficulty and you're auto resolving you're actually taking more casualties in your battles than somebody who's playing on legendary difficulty on very hard battles but fighting them manually so what ends up happening is that because your strength ranking ends up going down the ai actually has a look at your army and says Oh, look, half of your army has been destroyed. War. Whereas the AI on legendary difficulty will look at your army and be like, oh, you've lost one unit. I'm not going to touch that. And basically just waits for you to be weak. The AI is basically super cowardly. So what it does is just waits for you to be weak. Now, if you play normal difficulty the same way you play legendary difficulty, in that you don't auto resolve every battle, you fight the battles manually, you take minimal casualties, and you keep your strength ranking up, the AI won't declare war on you as often. They still will do it, but they won't do it as often. Now, I, c I observed behavioral difference between normal difficulty and legendary. On legendary difficulty, the AI recruits way faster. Way, way, way faster. They will, typically speaking, have two extra local recruit slots every single turn. So they will build up their armies really quick. Now, here's another thing about normal difficulty, right? Um, there is like a gray area where you're safe, right? Um, from war declarations. It's typically speaking where you are not the dominant threat, 
and you're also not super weak. Now the thing is, on normal difficulty, because the AI doesn't recruit super quickly, you become the dominant threat quicker, right? Because the AI has fewer armies, and the AI is programmed to declare war on you when you become the dominant threat. This is why it appears as though, um, on normal difficulty, the AI is more difficult. Uh, because you, you get stronger than them quicker. If you play the campaign and moderate your strength ranking, as in don't bloat your strength ranking into the red, you know, where that red triangle is, and you keep your strength ranking, say, below 40 strength ranking, uh, typically speaking, the AI won't declare war on you that often. Now, another behavioral change I noticed is that the AI on normal difficulty will make way more reckless attacks than they will on legendary. On legendary difficulty, they are a complete bitch. If they sniff your army, they fucking get out of there. They are just not interested in fighting an even fight. Not at all. They will stay out of your range and just not and just wait for you to be weak. They'll go for your undefended settlements. The AI on normal difficulty will beeline straight for you and just try it anyway and lose. So, is legendary difficulty more uh, sorry, is normal difficulty easier than legendary? Fuck no. You just need to adjust the way you're playing normal difficulty. That's all. Absolutely not. You know, it was super easy on normal difficulty on the campaign that I played. Super, super easy. You have no public order problems. Your supply lines are a lot softer. Um, deploy, like, here's the thing. Behavioral, behavioral of the AI is the same. The AI is behaves the same on the campaign map on legendary difficulty as it does on very hard, but on sorry, on normal difficulty, but on legendary difficulty it has more cheats and sometimes that actually works in your favor. Did you mean it's harder? What did I mean? What did I say? Sorry. Normal difficulty is not more difficult than legendary. That's what I meant to say. Legendary difficulty is more difficult. However, if you auto resolve your battles and you weaken your armies, then it might feel like it's more difficult because you're in a weaker position, the AI takes advantage of you. So you just have to make sure you're not taken advantage of by the AI. And this is why legendary difficulty players are saying legendary difficulty is easy and normal difficulty players are saying normal difficulty is hard. It's because we have two different playstyles, one of which is good, the other one is not as good. And so the AI is taking advantage of it. How do you find Gizla? I found them to be one of the hardest starts. It is a fairly hard start, yeah. Yeah, um... Clan Mulder is basically guaranteed to declare war on you, no matter which difficulty you play. Um... They take out the Druzina Conclave pretty much at the same time. Legendary or normal, it's the same rate. So they should be your first enemy after taking out the best. Like, okay, let's move on. The cowardice is new, though. Yeah, to some extent. To some extent. Ricky HDR did a five subject. Really loved your breakdown of damage types, magic versus physical, with the chart on stream two days ago. Completely changed how I look at the game. Cheers. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the chat. Um, what's the best way to get better in the game? Uh, download mods and cheat. No, I'm just kidding. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Good practice makes perfect. You know, um, if what you're doing is you know, just watching the battle progress and you're not learning how to micro and you're not learning which units are strong, you're not getting better, then you're not going to get better. But you should practice. You should try to push yourself. There's fighting time and yabbering time. I thought it was going to declare war. See, we're in that zone where the AI is not declaring war on us constantly because we're not super weak and we're not super strong. Did he lose on the Scarbrand campaign? Just got bored. No, we actually won this game. A Scarbrand campaign. I can load it up right now and show you. I continued it. And it's um, still zero defeats. I, I played about mm, five extra turns. Despair involves fighting. Despair leads a war. Alright. Now, do we want to fight two wars at once? You didn't I think we do. I think we do. There's 13 units there. Eight units there. Um, we already saw that this army can take out a bit. Um, it's not at full strength though. That works. We do have itchy nuisance. 
One more turn until Healy Mushrooms. Just try it anyway. Just try it anyway. As long as there's not an army sitting in there, we should be fine. I could merge and recruit some more... I guess I'll do that with Gobos. Yeah. Eh, eh, I don't know. This is fine. Ready for murdering. Here we go. Does Confederation penalty stack? No. No, it doesn't stack. What's the downside when subjugating for confederating? Um, well, if you confederate, you get all of their assets. If you subjugate them, then they... They serve you, but you don't get their assets, and they might betray you. Whereas if you confederate them, they'll never betray you. Alright, I'm not recruiting any more from this province, so let's get this sorted. Kind of funny, they want non-aggression. Notice how we're not the, the main threat at the moment. We're getting fairly close to it. They probably will declare war on us soon. Um, we're about to go to war with somebody that they hate. I definitely do want to fight them, but we're going to take out the ogres first, since they have shown that they will declare war on us. On a whim. Alright, any construction we need to do? Yeah, a little bit. Let's upgrade... This one here. Get those gems going. Cool. Making money. I could probably raise some more troops if I really wanted to. Nah, I'll just have more money. We're fine. Here we go. I've been trying to send a doomstack to you, and I was wondering, is the subject part I should write doomstack or write my doomstack? Mm, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can do that if you want, but the main thing that you need to do is be at the top of my list. So, I have loads and loads of save files sent in every single day. I can only cover so many of them. Um, if you use if you use clickbait in your titles, I'm actually in the title of your email. I'm actually less likely to click on it. Um, so just keep the information like pretty. Um, you know, just tell me what what's what's in the email, basically. You know, you know, immortal empires rate my doomstack, whatever it is, and I'll get to it. Maybe <laughs> you got to keep bumping it because I just get so many emails. You know. I can't possibly cover everyone's. I think we're fine for that. Do you plan to do a final review video? I know you aren't keen on those. No, no more reviews ever. Alright, cool. The tribe's ready! Alright, so this uh this faction here is basically doomed. Oh yeah. So long as you remember. Alright, we'll speak to them first. Offer to join war against the blood guzzlers. For money. Not much, but still. And then I'll declare one of them in a minute. Yeah, we have to fight that manually. I feel you are v wrong about Doomstacks and Warhammer 3. With supply lines and lower battle cheats, Doomstacks are way better than Warhammer 2. You're looking at it all wrong. You're looking at it wrong. Um, every army is better in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2. 
Every army. Now here's the thing, you own, your army only ever needs to be good enough to win every battle that it fights. Okay, that's all it ever needs to be. So, here's the big thing. Basic armies, typically speaking, are all you ever need. Alright, you don't need Doomstacks. So, you bloating out your army to make it fucking unstoppable is just not needed. And you'll end up paying two to three times what you would be paying if you just had, you know, relatively balanced builds. So, sure, the individual army will perform better, but every army performs better in Warhammer 3 because the AI doesn't put up a fight. So you're looking at it from the wrong point of view, in my opinion. So if you want to build Doomstacks, by all means, build Doomstacks. And you know, your armies will never lose a battle, but you will have fewer armies. You know, you know, I'm rolling around with basic armies right well into the late game and, you know, not losing. But I've got more armies. But again, you, you can do whatever you want. If you want to build Doomstacks, you go right ahead. See, the whole point of building Doomstacks in Moema 2 was because the AI, one, put up a big fight, and two, supply lines were fucking crippling. So you wanted to have as few armies as possible, but with 4% supply lines, you can have loads of armies. It's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it's entirely up to you. Doomstacks are always going to be powerful. That's the whole definition of a Doomstack. But you just, you just, the point was that you just don't need Doomstacks in Warhammer 3, for the most part, Un unless there is a specific reason for that Doomstack where it becomes super efficient. Like if the Lord reduces the upkeep cost by 50% or makes them ridiculously strong. So, for example, if you're building an Ice Guard Doomstack with Katarin, well, that makes sense. She reduces the upkeep cost and she boosts them. If you're making a War Bear Rider Doomstack with um, Boris. That makes sense. He boosts them like crazy. So it just depends on the reason for doing it. But like if you're making a Demigriff Knight Doomstack as an example, that doesn't make any sense because no Lord boosts Demigriff Knights by any substantial amount and they're ridiculously expensive. Not to say that you can't recruit that unit, it's just, it's just not that useful. Now we got Itchy Nuisance, we can drop down their damage output significantly with this. Do you still find crap stacking as fun as Doom Stacks? Depends on the situation. Like, I just like, I enjoy armies that do what I want them to do. So, if a crap stack just doesn't fucking work, then I don't like it. But if it works, like, a, for example, Nasty Skulkers, then I, I do that. Yeah, look at that. Melee attack 9 drops their weapon strength from 130 down to 92. Look at that, they're just not really dishing out that much damage to us. I guess a reason for having two wizards is that we could cycle the, uh, uh, the itchy nuisance a lot quicker. Yay, red jelly. What's your favorite type of jelly? Red jelly, yellow jelly. <laughs> Zero melee attack on Noblars.
much better spell than um, sneaky stabbing. Sneaky stabbing is good if you're in like a dual situation with a, a lord, which we are not. Is Kerlek still alive in this campaign? Nah, I took him out on turn 4. Gen J did a 25 pillars of shit. Apparently, vamp pirates have insane econ now. Treasure building gives global plus percentage building and pause. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, yep, that's pretty nuts. They're the new high elves. They might actually be the richest faction in the game. They might be the new high elves. But you know, Creative Assembly will see that and be like, "Oh, what? People enjoy economy. Get rid of it." Get ready for them to make uh, 50 gold for their ports. Uh, global increase of 0.001% to all income buildings on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, 50 income per turn from a tier 5 port incoming. And there we go. Who's your favorite green skin legendary lord? Uh, probably Wurzag. Grom's pretty good too, though. Look, I know you basically run CA, so we can have a Lord of the Ring Total War game. Nah, I'm not interested in making that. Do you know what Total War game we're going to get next? Harry Potter Total War. One race will be the Gryffindor race, and then there'll be the uh, Slytherin race. <laughs> The rate, the Muggle race. Can't wait, can't wait to. But the um, uh, Gryffindor will be DLC, and then there'll be the Death Eaters. There'll be a, a uh, DLC. Um, Quidditch should be a DLC. See here, what are we doing? I'm gonna we'll play. kick you out, mate. The muggles have guns. I'm special. Yeah, but uh, wizards will have 50% missile resistance. Alright, so yeah, just go with growth because we're good for money. And uh, if there was a good target for a while, I'd do it, but uh, they're currently. Oh, hang on, military presence of one. You didn't. Mm, they could have a lord just standing outside the city. Our replenishment rate is pretty okay, but we'll see. Yeah, get that itchy, itchy nuisance in you. Good amount of winds of magic. Alright, these guys here, let's speak to Slaves of Tsar. Offer to join war against Saber Skin. They'll give us 566. Okay. Check the other one. See how much they'll give us. Alright. It's both about the same. I'll just take that. It was the lesser of two, but, you know, about not even worth the clicks for the five extra gold or whatever it was. Okay. And. Yeah, we could probably auto this. Yeah, it should be fine. Good amount of replenishment there. Alright, how are we going? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, what are we researching next? Okay, we got the Healy Mushrooms, so the next thing... That's not too bad there. Uh, how much scrap have I got? Uh, a little bit. What do we want next? We could go with go bigger. Could go with no complaining. Speed for infantry. 
He gets weapon strength for orcs. That'd be pretty good. Gobby gobos. Alright, let's grab that. I do intend to get nasty skulkers. Are orc boys not complete crap in Women 3? Uh, no, they're okay. They're okay. Yeah, the melee cheats toned down makes it a lot more palatable to get these sort of units. And if I got... Nah, that'd be fine. Alright, so the Veil of Titans... So how many settlements do we have now? 11. Okay. And... Yep. What I want to do is try to find this character here, Grizzguts. Got five settlements. We should just find him and confederate him, right? Just got to go find him. So, sending a hero to, to go and scout him out could be good. Same thing over here. Just need to uh, suss them out, try and find them. Alright, any other constructions that need to be done? Pretty good for money. I haven't really been in any concerns in the entire campaign. I've been in the red multiple times. Alright, this one here should be able to reach the fire mouth next turn. But if there's a significant army there, we probably shouldn't attack it. But let's just see. They, hang on, are they attacking... Uh, Karak uh, Azorn. Try to push me around. No, is somebody is, but we just don't know who. One it one. is Grimgor, and they're, he's about to win. Okay, that's fine. Alright, looking at diplomacy, anything we can do? Dark, no, don't negotiate with them. No. What's going on with the puppets of Misrule? Yeah, they're fine. And how are things going with these guys up this way because we were pretty friendly with them what does the green skin want does it have tribute for the tribe that's curious cool that all seems fine okay let's move on is Grimgo AI still super aggressive the potential to grow massively only if he's the end game crisis otherwise no Typically speaking, only the end game crisis e as the AI ever really gets fairly big. What do you think about Cathay campaign? Uh, seems fine. Well, that's dead meat. Does the difficulties between normal and legendary have any noticeable behavior changes? Yeah, the AI is way less intelligent on normal difficulty. Whereas on Legendary Difficulty, they're way more cautious. They're cowardly, but they're more intelligent. You can very easily trick the... Um, you don't even need to trick the AI into um, engaging with you on Normal Difficulty. They'll just do it. Just come at you. Nasty magic ready. That's very press. Oh, big army. Big, 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 big army. I might not be able to handle that. Face. Face. Mm, and they're recruiting Iron Fists. Only what I listen to is me. Ooh, and we're damaged. We're damaged. Um, I might need to. Mm, I might need to actually get Grimgore to help out there. Yeah, that's actually too much for that. Because they built the defensive. Yeah, and they're going to get more. They get a lot of defenses with that. We've got three turns until that's done. Hopefully this finishes off this faction, and then we... Yeah, we need to get Grimgore down there. Oh, who's that? Hello, Dusty, and you're in bad shape. Ah, fuck. Yeah, if I attack him, he will definitely run away, and I won't be able to catch him with that amount of movement. Shit. He 
Yeah, he'll probably run to there, and I don't think I'll be able to catch him. Just don't have enough movement. Damn, he's got two black orcs. The tribe's ready. No one tells a tyrant what to do. No, I'm in charge here. Crump him. I can't. He'll run away. I don't have enough movement. Ambush stance. We're not at war with him right now. Um. Black Orc block army? Does that is that what he does? He doesn't block. What you want? Stand in his zone of control. Yes. 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 That is a good idea. Come on. Good thinking, dude. <laughs> he won't move now. Good thinking. He might jump in the underway. He might jump in the underway. Good thinking. Good thinking. But yeah, at that range there, we should intercept him. He'll underway passage? Probably, yeah. Alright, now this over here, I don't think I can win with our current strength. Um, but what I could do is besiege the settlement. I could besiege the settlement to prevent them from recruiting anything. Of course, we won't be doing anything ourselves. But all we're doing there is just waiting for Grimgore to come down. He can still run. Nah, he's got no movement. He can't leave. He, he, he has a small chance of getting away in the this underway. Is real. No one tells a I mean, we might be able to win that in order resolve. Probably not. So what I'm doing here is I'm just laying siege. Yeah, I figured as much. What this is going to do is prevent them from recruiting anything. Because I, I don't think I can win that. No, no, it's too much. It's too much. What we're going to do is just keep it under siege. Stop them from recruiting until um, reinforcements arrive. Yeah. Get a bit of reinforcements up in there and we'll sort it out. Mm hmm. Yeah, so they'll probably sally out over the end turn, but it will cancel their recruitment, and we just we just withdraw from the fight. Yeah, it'll just it'll cancel their recruitment while we're able to recruit, and then we just send in reinforcements. No big deal. All right, it would be good if we could beat this army and take like um if I could fight them. Hopefully they don't use the underway because obviously if we intercept them they get wiped out. Because I wouldn't mind stealing those black orcs. Uh, can't turn them into the immortals, but. You know, I can give them temp additional armor. Ooh. Another thing is, if I call a while, I'll immediately get extra troops here. But I don't see a good target for wires right now. It's just no point. If we have a look, um, the only person that we can see strength ranking under, uh, uh, like higher than ten, is these ones, which is the Humies, which gives us charge bonus and control. Not really a great, not really a great target. Alright, and let's have a look at diplomacy, see what's going on. Alright, and let's move on.
Yep, let's move on. You can recruit gobos in one turn global now. Oh shit, I should have done that. Oh, that's fine. Well, thanks for the heads up. I didn't didn't think I'd be able to do that that quick. So let's see what happens here. Why trophy seems like a bad mechanic. Oh no, I think it's pretty good. Yep, we knew that was going to happen, and that's fine. Then we just back off. Cancels their recruitment. We're going to shake your hands, then. Not you. Oh, no. Alright, I need to prepare for that. Oh, son of a bitch got away. Oh man, that, that must have been like 0% chance of it. Oh, for fuck's sake. He fucking got away. Little bitch. Let's go. Bring it. Well, he's got himself trapped out here. He's gonna need to underway again. Son of bitch. Son of bitch. Yeah, he's not recruiting anything now. <laughs> the northern provinces. That's worth a lot of money. Indubitably. Alright, oh, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta. Money for the money, got it. I presume you have come to beg for your life. Oh, I want that money. Oh, now that is interesting. Intriguing, even. Hang on, could you go to war? Oh, you are at war with them? Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, I just want the money. We ex now they'll see. Head for mork. Now, I found that you need to order resolve it to get the most out of it. Oh, <laughs> 28,000. Oh, yum. He will underway again? Yeah, possibly. And we got a potion of toughness. Nice. Alright, you stand... Here. Let's see if we can lure them into a trap. You. Ah, uh, yeah, not gonna. Okay, you just stay there. It'd be. Oh, I might be able to lure them into a trap if they if they come out here and attack us. We just hit withdraw, um, and we'll probably withdraw into the zone of control here, and it'll just screw them over. The tribe's ready. And oh, but then I won't recruit anything. All right, never mind. Let's go. Yeah, that. Yes. The so what we got? Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's get Gork will fix it. I wanna get down that way. Cool. Cool. Son of bitch. Son of a bitch. Could go into ambush stance around here and just hope that he doesn't see us. The chances of that are really low. 
Yeah, going into underway stance isn't going to work. I can't uh, block his zone of control again. All I can do is stand right there. He is completely trapped. Um, let me see. What's his potential movements? I can't believe he got past us with that. Absolutely ridiculous. Fucking lucky bastard, that's for sure. If I go into ambush stance, I can stand about here. But the chances of us um, detecting here, uh, getting detected is really high. We have to make sure that they don't walk past here to Eagle Eries. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if you... Yeah, that's unfortunate that that happened. You know, sometimes sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that kind of stuff. Luck-based mechanics. Can you just uh, try to underway again? Yeah, yeah, you could. There's always a chance we'll intercept him, but what I'm trying to get him to do is just walk down here. I don't actually want to wipe him out. So yeah, that's... Um, yeah, whatever. That's right, at least we got some good luck there with, uh, with the Northern Provinces uh, caravan. Made so much money off it. That was really good timing. Hopefully some more caravans come down. Eat those. Eat those uh, extra monies. Mm, okay, yeah, we need to get the, uh, the public order up. Cool. Alright, where are we going now? So, we just got Gobby Gobbos. Let's see. Yeah, I want to get to no complaining. Cool. Yeah, really high chance of getting pulled out of it, but... Just, uh, we just have to see how we go. How much money does that make? 36,000 from that, uh, caravan. Oh, shit, I forgot about the, uh... Ogres. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Ah, they didn't do anything anyway. Alright, so what are they gonna do? Their turn's coming up. What are they gonna do? Here it comes. We gonna shake it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And... a oh, load of bullshit! <laughs> what a load of bullshit! <laughs> Alright, well, we've got a battle to fight here. You missed a few super chats. One asking if giants are good now. One asking if greenskin's worst matchups. And one asking if you post feedbacks to forum to CA directly. Uh, sorry if I missed some super chats, dude. Um, oh my god, I did too. Nathan Bella did it. I just didn't hear it. Uh, did a five dollar super chat. What's the hardest matchup for greenskins? I have no idea, dude. Sorry, thanks for the chat. Uh, Chris Dispense did a ten dollar super chat. Have you ever put your suggestions, feedbacks on the game in the Total War forum, or do you communicate them directly to CA? My assumption is if they ha oh my god, my assumption is that you have a relationship with CA due to receiving the beta early. Okay, thanks for super chat. I used to send it directly to CA. But that relationship has broken down now, and now I, would, I don't send anything to them. Because they didn't once listen to me about anything that I've said about Warhammer 3, so it's a waste of my time. So I just, I, we don't communicate anymore. It's, the relationship has now completely broken down. It's over. Between me and CA. But thanks for the super chat, guy. Uh, did I miss another one? Uh, Dr. Blaze 2, dude, a 10 super chat. Do you feel like giants are better now? Since they can break down walls, they're still kind of black. They're definitely better. They're definitely better. Um, giants will still be quite weak against missile units. Uh, but they're definitely better. Okay. So, we've, we've got our work cut out for us in this battle, for sure. Okay. It's the same layout as that green skin, uh, that uh, other battle that we fought. 
Uh, Call B13, do I turn on some Is it normal for the Wood Elf endgame scenario to infinitely spawn two armies per faction of Wood Elves every turn? It happened in my game and I simply couldn't keep up and I gave up. I don't know, I haven't had that one show up. Uh, thanks for Super Chat though, I appreciate it. So that over there, there's a black hawk there. We don't have any armor piercing, so towers are going to be needed for taking them out. Uh, how should we do this? Because if we go with this barricade here, we can get base weapon damage plus 15% and extra leadership. That's pretty good. Um, I have a feeling we're going to lose this battle. But the thing is, if we do lose it, we'll get these guys in the end turn. So, one way or another, we're going to be fine. I just I can't believe that fucking... He just walked right past my ambush. Imagine getting, I don't know, dude, thanks to the chat. Yeah, uh, I, sometimes I don't know the answer. I, I don't have all the answers, you know? Yeah, fair enough. I'm not going to make something up. Sometimes I just don't know. Okay. I'm not Legend of Total Encyclopedia. Uh, it takes time to learn these things, and I just I don't have the answer for it right now. Sorry. If you want, I can just make up some bullshit. Won't help you. Alright. Mm, if I set up over here, then I've got to deal with their lord first. Maybe that would be better, because I could get them to route earlier. Alright, I think this one here might be best. Alright, so what we're going to do is... I think maybe barricade that, but we should... Let me see, should I reduce their melee attack by 15% or increase our weapon strength by 15? Plus our leadership. I think we should do this one. Okay, they don't really have any air of effect abilities, so don't need to worry about that. This guy here should try to harass the Black Orcs, I think. Try to get them to chase after us for a bit, because it has absolutely no killing power. They have minimal archers, okay. And, well, we could get a high-powered tower. Um, I think we should just go with a low-powered tower just to begin with. Um, I know that they can come in through here, but I'm going to put a barricade in there. Uh, maybe a gobo should stand here. And yeah, we'll just see how we go. Not the end of the world if we lose this, but that was just ridiculously unlucky. <laughs> it just walked right through our zone of control. But the thing is, the thing is, no matter what happens, we've won the war. He can't get away from us now. That's done. No matter what happens, we've won the war. Yeah, so we want the Black Orcs to chase us. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, how the fuck did he hit me? Oh, whatever. So they just don't show up to the battle. They can't build a big barricade blocker. Shit. Should try a little bit harder over here. Don't you, don't you, come on. I gotta stay close to them, but not too close. That's it, just keep them busy. What are those biggins? Alright, let's go back and try to pull some of those troops away. Okay, I want you to shoot at specific targets. I was playing green skin music, so it says we're winning. <laughs> Where are the green skins? Alright, no, I don't think we're pulling that out. Block it right there. I'm not 
not loving how this is going so far. Uh, Chris Dispenser, Eternal Super Chat, what exactly happened with CA? I feel like your input would improve the game and we, we all win if the game is better, if that makes sense. You and a few other YouTubers have good criticism about the game. Yep, um, thanks Super Chat, dude. Look, it just came down to, um, um, the relationship just didn't work, really. Um, I wasn't getting what I wanted out of it, and I, there's no need for a rant, look. It's, I'm not gonna rant about it, look, it just comes down to the, it just wasn't working between me and CA. You know, it just wasn't working. You know, I'm not blacklisted. I can still talk to them, but it just wasn't working. It was more effort than it was worth. And so I said enough to that. You know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't put any more effort into a one-sided relationship, which is what it was. It was, I put in all the work and they put in none. And I just couldn't tolerate it anymore. That's going very well there. This tower here is just not really dishing out tons of damage. Let's and this guy here is just not taking damage. I can try to shoot him a bit, maybe. Okay, put down some towers elsewhere. In the hope that maybe it'll do some damage somewhere. Oh, get back, get back. Trying really hard to snipe their general. Can't put this unit on skirmish mode. This dude here is going down, but he's killed a lot of dudes. It's good that these Black Orcs here have been kept busy. Really good. Okay, cool. That one's gone. He's done a lot of damage, but he's... If we can wound him, that'll make a difference here. For sure. Okay, you've got to keep those Black Orcs busy. Oh, another thing to consider is that if we wound him, and we lose the battle, we don't confederate him. So it might be better if he leaves the battlefield and... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this will suck. If we wound him... Mm. Oh, oh, we wounded him too. If I Okay, if I don't win the battle now, I'm in big trouble. Okay, you need to shoot at Black Orcs. Okay, let's move back in here a little bit. Come on, towers, I need you. Okay, have we got towers elsewhere? Not really. A tower here I can maybe use. Okay, you need to be shooting at those black orcs there. Uh, Chris Dispenser to Fight Awesome Thanks for the explanation. Love the content. Keep it up. Sorry, I'm behind the power curve. Some posters said you talked about this before. Yep, talked about it a lot. Uh, people are really sick of it. I understand. You know, um, this is a very unfortunate situation, and, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for Super Chat. Oh, God damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Don't break on me. Going perfectly well. Wolf I don't know if I'm gonna win. Got a 
they send a unit over here, we're in trouble. That Black Orc's taking a lot of damage. I don't think I'm gonna win. We just we just are outpowered here. I made a big boo-boo by getting rid of their lord. <laughs> Whoops. Get out, boys. Come on, shoot the lord. Uh, the, the cavalry. Come on, come on, come on. don't know about this. Oh, look, they're here as well. Yeah, I don't know about this. We just don't have enough killing power. I don't know. Yeah, I need another gobo over here. Keep that one busy. We don't have any anti-large. Their units are fighting to the death. Uh, I don't think we're gonna win this. I just don't feel it here. I'm not feeling it. But we'll see. I'm not gonna give up until the very last. <laughs> until it actually gives us the loss. Good. You keep busy. Keep them busy. Oh, he broke those Black Hawks. That's good. Keep these Black Hawks here busy. They really don't have that many units left. Okay, I think what I need to do is start bringing this guy into the settlement. Start trying to recap points. It's really not over yet, is it? It's not over yet. Oh, there's still got another one of those as well. We eat gobos! Is this going to be one of those battles where we just play Capture the Towers? Could be. Okay, I need you to go and capture a tower. Capture a position. This guy's ammo needs to be just used on... They're, they are boosted by this, that's good. On, on uh, Orc War Boys. Come on, keep shooting, keep shooting, those fucking Black Hawks came back. Come on, man. I, I've got all these points here, but I can't really do anything with it. Oh no, I'm running out of ammo. You, you have to hold them back. Just, I'm running out of steam here. <laughs> Just running out of, running out of puff. Come on, you gotta get rid of these fucking orc boar boys. Come on, keep shooting the damn black orcs. There's only a handful of them left. Oh god, I'm running out of ammo there. Good, they're running. They're running out. A vumf. Shit, I just ran out of ammo. Flanked this one here. They're running out of oomph there. Oh, archers over here. Don't give me the fucking army losses. I can still win this. I can still win this. Because they've just lost all their fucking cavalry. Gotta get away from this damn goblin archer here though. Okay, we just shattered the black orc there. That's good. Come on, get rid of this goblin here, and then move out of this one's way. How we going? How we going? We're holding. Good. Rally. Rally, you dipshit. Good. We just broke all of them. Get over there. I think we're going to win, actually. I think we are actually going to win. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Because that black orc is too fucking slow. All we have to do is outrun it. 
Will the tails friendly fire? No, they don't do friendly fire damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Oh, it's gonna be a freaking close one here. Good, it's broken. Move over to here. Try to draw this one a little bit over. Good, one point capped over there. Uh, start capping this point over here. Start building towers. Don't engage with this fucking black orc here. I think we got this. That one's coming back, but it's really badly damaged. Alright, how about... We don't have to hold on to this position anymore. But I'll charge at them. Once get in okay, go, go, go. Go over here. That way we've got this. Uh, actually, you know what? You should come over here and we'll flank them with the Goblin Wolf Riders. Good. Oh, this guy came back. Good. Flank him. I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win. If they've just got one Black Hawk unit, they can't win. Because I can just outrun them. What are you doing? Get over here. Oh, you're taking this. Okay, that's fine. What about this position? No, don't worry about it. I think I've got this. Don't you need to retake the center one? No, it's not a walled siege. There's no timer on. They have to capture all points if they want to win. Oh, I think I got you, you son of a bitch. Let's do this. Oof. Tell you what, that was bloody close. I think I've got this. They just don't have enough troops now to cap points. That's a big deal there, that one going. Okay, send all of these guys now over to here. And now we just avoid them, as much as possible. Just avoid them, let the towers do the rest of the work. Uh, James McGowan did a 5 dollars Hey, Legend, just got the squig net, and I'm thinking of making a squig army. Uh, squig nest. Do you think if there is anything I can do to make it stronger? Mm, I don't know. I, I really... Not a green skin expert, personally. So, thanks for the super chat, though. Um, if you've got a lord with uh, the, the skill for the, um, the squigs, that should be about as much as you can do. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're capping that point, but that's going to take them ages to cap with that unit. And the whole time they're going to get shot by towers. Just keep building the cheap towers. Oh, that was a close one. We really can't afford to be taking any damage at all. Uh, that one, it is going to get taken, but it's okay. How about we demolish this, get some money back. Same thing here. I'll, I'll get something back. Don't engage the Black Orc. Don't engage it. Alright, uh, run this way. No, run, um, yeah, run that way. Go in different directions. You, go back up here. Because the Black Orc speed 29. Don't engage with it. Just let it get shot by towers. Upgrade tower to armor piercing. Oh, it has armor piercing. It's just cheaper. It's because we're going to be losing towers constantly, but we'll see. As I get more points, I'll get the better ones. Let's just bring them over here. If that one wants to sit here and try to cap this point, great. If it doesn't, also great. But yeah, it can't catch up to us. Are Huntsman stack being led by a Huntsman General worth using? Yeah. Hmm? Please, job ups. Yeah, they boost Huntsman by a bit. Depends on what you're going up against. But yeah, you could do that. The lads are ready. 
Alright, I may actually need to fight this goblin. Problem is, these two here are really close to routing, so maybe don't go in too close. Send these ones around this way. You are capping that. I need you to keep capping that. Uh, actually, no, I don't need you to keep capping it. I do need to get rid of this goblin unit here. That's really important. in the rear a little, little bit by the Black Orcs. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Just don't stay there. They're not going to do that much damage. Like, we got kind of stuck there a little bit. Get in here. I need to cap this point and keep moving. We can definitely now afford some better towers when we get this back. I've also got this, but no point. Holding those Blackhawks outside the base probably won this war. Yeah, I, I thought so. Just because I didn't have any use for this at the beginning. And this is a super dangerous unit. Keep moving. And then move on to the next spot. Good, move on to the next one. Alright, and we'll build the, uh, the arrow towers to do a bit more damage now. Because I don't think this one here is trying to cap points. Dude's back. That one's still around. Oh no, it is trying to cap. Oh, hang on, hang on. Nope, it's not trying to cap points. I don't like getting too close to these guys. At least I've got a wire ready if I absolutely need it. That one there's trying to cap point, but I don't think that's going to work for it. Working. Cool. Another point captured. And that one there gives us extra leadership, so that's good. Got that back. That'll keep our guys in line a little bit longer. Yeah, they're gonna cap that. No big deal. Yeah, keep focusing on the Black Orc there. Good. We got all the positions captured. We just need to get that army losses now. And there we go, we actually did it. Alright, cool. Whew. That was a tough fight, holy crap. Our Black Orcs buffed in IE? Mm, didn't seem like it. Good. And we should end up with this. I will take the money. And I'll just transfer that unit straight back into Grimgore's army. Now then, speak quick. Hmm. The problem here is that you might get this one declaring war on you, but it's only Nurgle, so 
Yeah, alright. That could be good. I want to see what's going on. Okay, we can- Alright, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, your man, 55, five did a $10 subject. Congrats on victory. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Bah. Yeah. Stupid North Fins. What? Where's my confederation, bitch? Where's my madness? Where's my confederation, bitch? I beat you! Oh, do you have to actually use a lord to beat him? Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go. You're not writing yet! Oh, what a piece of crap. <laughs> it didn't confederate him. How? Oh! Hold your. Hang on. Now's the time. Fighting soon. Did they recruit you again? <laughs> you risk your very life by demanding. Don't look at him. There's nothing going on. Do not think. If I had put a lord in that city, the tribe's ready. not only would that battle have been easier, but we would have bloody got him, I think. Oh, only 20,000 that time. Fucking gypped. Man, this is a good spot for Cathay Caravans to come past. I should just leave an army here permanently. <laughs> Alright, well... Alright, what we need to do here is... Uh, merge some of these healthy units into this dude. Nasty magic ready. These two, and a couple of these. It comes, it comes. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. Yep, you can move over here. Once again, just besieging it while we recover. Oh, valiant defeat. Maybe I should bring that other army over. Maybe I can actually win. Check Diplo, maybe he'll accept peace and confed. If he accepts peace, we'll take a reliability hit. Uh, yeah. your cause. Nah. Unfortunately, it's just... You're gonna have to fight him. Unfortunately. Um, wait for him to come back again. Might as well... Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, this guy is not gonna be able to attack Eagle Eries, but he might activate Global... He's not really going to be able to get anything. Now, I could... I could just go into the underway. No, oh, no. It doesn't really give me that much extra. I could probably just force march this way. Because they, they've just lost their army completely. Oh, well. Um, well, it would be good to get that Black Orc unit. Um, it's not like it's the most essential thing ever. You won't lose reliability if you peace out. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that. Also, I don't want peace. Grimgore doesn't have anything else to do right now, so I am going to go and do that. I need to catch that dude. Yeah, what? Yeah, he likes me, so he's not going to declare war on me right now. Ready. Come on, this way. In the motion. Okay. No, no, we'll just, we'll just go kill him. Let's go kill him now. You know, it would have been better to confederate him, but unfortunately that's just not what happened. Alright, so this over here, um, 
I'd hate to miss out on another caravan coming by. I definitely want to leave an army there. That'd just be great for all the bloody caravans. Look how much money we got. Um, all the bloody Cathay caravans. Uh, if I bring this one over here, I kind of feel like we'll be able to order it. Let's have a look. Alright, what kind of damage is high? Ooh, that's not great. Alright, just leave it under siege for a turn. Middle Legend, you said never to stay under siege. Uh, oh, I guess I could fight it manually. It is very strong, though. But here's the thing. Um, we could stay in encamp stance, get replenishment, and just pick up some more gobos. Me. Yeah. Just wait for him to come back and compare the sun doors. No, no, look, I'll just take the minor settlements. Look, look, the Falls of Doom is only a tier one settlement, so... Um, confederating or capturing, that's not going to make any difference. So, I'll just try to um, catch him somewhere. Yeah, he should be gone for four more turns. You got Regiments of Renown? Mm, yeah, but I'm not in any rush here. I'll just wait a turn. Regiments are renowned for emergencies, which this is not. Plus, we need to recruit an army to go and attack the Volary. Um, what I'm going to do is just sell that to the Norskans, because I don't want to... It's garbage. Alright, so what I'll do here, recruit a... Great Goblin Shaman. Yep, yeah, confident. Okay, I'll get that. And... Just get some troops together. It'll take a few turns, but then we'll go and sort that out. Yeah, money's... I mean, I got 50 grand in reserve. Going into the red a little bit will be fine. Especially if more uh, Cathay caravans come down this way. That's delicious. Yeah, it's really good if you can park yourself right near where uh, the, ca the caravans go by, because it's a set position. Alright. This battle needs a war. Alright. Well, that's me done for the turn. Outpost available. Nah, don't worry about it. Faced. 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 Could you sell a settlement to village? Yeah, I could probably sell the Volary over to village, but these guys here are my defensive allies. Um, I might see if village will become a defensive ally if I sell the Volary over to him. Why you didn't make barracks for better troops? I did, I just wasn't expecting to recruit from here again. Uh, so I got rid of it and changed it. Because I've already recruited all the units that I wanted. Having a barracks is sitting around in settlements where you could have a growth building or a money building. It's not worth it sometimes. No. A giant in your army is a confed- Yeah, yeah, I got it from a confederation. Yeah. Alright, this guy is coming in. I'm the one in charge round here. Crap maker Zok. No one tells a tyrant what to do. Yeah. 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 Only one I listen to is me. Just spoil and ravage. Those guys are doomed. Okay, so over here, let's have a look. Alright, now it is close victory with medium casualties, and we only lose a few orc boys. Can't really re Hang on, let me just see. I might be able to replace them straight away from here. Guess it really depends if I get to keep that or not. Yeah, that'll do fine. Let's just do it. You 
ain't no tyrant. Okay, I got to keep the barracks so I can replace those units. Alright, we need to keep an army at Blood Peak permanently. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, uh, Garrett Ratchford did a photo super chat. What is your opinion? Sorry, what in your opinion is the most impactful missile chariots? Probably Tyrannoch chariots, maybe? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Scourge Runner chariots. Those are probably the best. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Alright, we can pop this down here. Get that sorted. In Wormer 3, if you peace out in any way, you won't lose reliability. Oh, really? I, I did not know that they changed that. That is that is good. That is good. Because, yeah, that was super annoying in Warhammer 2. I could have sworn at some point they did lose reliability. But still, I'm not going to peace out with them. Well, it's good to know. It's good to know that. I will keep that in mind for future wars. How do you stop Kolek starting a war and dragging Norska into it? You declare war on him on like turn 3 and uh, take him out straight away. You can peace out with the Norska ends immediately. So, got to finish up with this war here, and then I need these guys here to protect this, not protect this pass, to raid this pass, essentially. There's a lot of ruins out here. I'm just curious, is that owned by Skaven? Because I haven't been here. No, I don't think so. It would have given us... This is straight up a ruin. Alright, thing I'm going to do is put this guy in here, transfer the boys, and okay, we got five gobos there, put that one in there as well. Okay, get him back up to 20. Okay, and this one here. I will just straight up to spend. Hang on, you got some items that I want you to have. Did you get that potion of toughness over to Grimgore. But then I'll recruit a new lord here to go and ruin dwell down this way. And let's give that potion of toughness over to Grimgore. I don't really care much for potions of strength. Uh, these two items here are not fantastic. I'm gonna... Uh, Sword of Anti here is actually okay. Might keep that, actually. Uh, Dawnstone is pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. Obsidian Trinkets are trash. Crown of Command is... It's okay when you've got the, um... The thing, but you need enough of them. Uh, Opal Amulets. Let's see here. How about we get the Spell Shield and the Shield of Tolos? Potion healing. Okay, chuck that on him. And that'll do for now. Also, you could use any deal to get a peace tree, not actually breaking any of it. Interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. Man, this game's got some, some wonky diplomacy, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep 
that there. Okay, looks like we're gonna get a full oh, army of gobos. Maybe I'll get two armies of gobos because it's not really gonna do much. Although gobos aren't too bad if we can get all the good text for them, but I'm just trying to get towards here first. Let me just have a look. Armor for goblin units. We want the one that gives them leadership. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. All right, ancient giant lands. Let's upgrade Karak flag. Oh, why the fuck did I build this? I didn't build the gems. <laughs> Whoops. Dumbass. Oh well, we're not exactly in financial stress. Alright, goblin big bosses. Cunning could be good. Alright. Now, I like to use goblin big bosses for um, sneaky ambushing. Do I have another one? No. Okay, that's fine. Alright, do we have an enemy that we could do a war on? Let's have a look. So their strength ranking 10. Four settlements. But yeah, I don't really like that trophy. I like the big lizards trophy best. I think that's, that's the best one. How long roughly do you think we have before go, go, uh, Gorst gets nerfed? Probably until tomorrow. I imagine that's going to be pretty high up on their priority list. Every time I play Grimgo, I get wrecked by Kurlik. How do I beat him? Just watch the first 30 minutes of this live stream. I'll show you. It's very easy. I, it, was, it was really easy to deal with Kurlik. I got rid of him by, like, turn 3. Uh, this... Yeah. Okay. No one tells a tyrant what... Don't speak silence. I have a feeling that this one is sorry, this one is going to Only capture the challenge stone and then try to make his way up here. So it might be in my best interest to go halfway. Stand in about here. And I'll just have to go into encamp stance, which will obviously drop my income by a fair bit. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe just maybe just don't global recruit. We we still got time. Before they show up. Uh, Chris Serafino did a ten dollar super chat. Uh, hey, legend, long time watcher. Wondering if you have any plans for future beastmen. This is Total War campaigns, Stinky Boys domination. I have no plans beyond this particular campaign, um, so I, I just don't plan these things ahead. But thanks for the super chat. Last time you said it was turn five. Oh, whatever turn it was, turn three, four, five, something like that. I took him out pretty quick. All right, cool. Let's move on. Why is Gorst OP? Um, the current... Okay, so with any ability that currently increases the battle healing cap by any amount of percentage is actually a hundred times stronger than what the game's actually saying it is. So, Gorst re increases the battle healing cap of zombies faction-wide by 500%. So, it's actually doing it by 50,000%. So, that means, like, every zombie unit has the potential health of, like... 800,000 or some ridiculous amount. Which makes them incredibly overpowered. Why Grimgore though? Why am I on models though? <laughs> uh, do each four Chaos Demons give different war trophies? Uh, I have no idea actually. I'll have to look into that. Probably not. What was that? Yeah. Who's the waiter? So yeah, this one will stay here and just raid caravans. 2,300 upkeep. As long as the caravans come here about once every 10 turns, we'll make a profit. Roughly. Get 
Just curious. Now you shouldn't be showing up for another, let's see. One, two, three more turns, I think. Tier two settlement. Tier two settlement. Oh well, if I have to outright conquer them instead of confederate, I guess that's not the end of the world. Alright, that's... Got nine units there. Problem is, if he stands here, he has his choice of these two settlements to pick at. I could just raise two armies. Or just be ready here when he comes down. Because he's only got 17 units. He'll probably be in position to strike next turn. Oh, this is different promises. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Who can I'm special. That way I'm recruiting 10 units per turn. Whoa. Even if it is just trash. Whatever. Kind Ash did a 10 years of which had never played Vampire Counts of Worm 2. I thought they suck. Now they're my favorite faction of Worm 3. Headed all cavalry. Now absolutely love Blood Knights. They are usually MVU. Okay, cool. Um, I'm glad you enjoy it. I don't personally care that much about vampire counts anymore, but I'm glad you do. Thanks for the chat. Nah, that's not important. Hey, Hangfire, how's it going, dude? Uh, what trophy village provides? Let's have a look. Uh, kill the spiky gets armor faction wide. <sighs> Garbage. I don't value armor that much. All right, uh, ice spewer. I don't think we need to build defenses here. So we could build this. Give us access to river trolls. We could build that. Give us access to... Yeah, I need some access to river trolls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta wait for those uh, caravans to come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep moving. Why do you not enjoy vampire accounts? Uh, I just prefer them in Worma 2. I just. They're more cheesy in Worma 2. I don't know. I... I... Maybe I need to give them another chance, but. I don't know. I played a Manfred campaign, it was just kind of boring. I don't know, I don't find the Vampire Count roster very interesting, and they kind of nerfed all their heroes to some extent. Lucas Alright did a $2 super chat. Are there new bonuses, war targets for new races? I don't know, actually. Um, well, I think there would be. I know that the Cathay ones are just killed to Humies, which is the same as it's always been for any human faction. Uh, I imagine there was one for... Yeah, there's a new one for Ogres. But that's just, it provides, um, mass, I think. Let me have a look. So, it provides... Yeah, kill to fatties, income from raiding and unit mass faction-wide. I don't really care much about raiding income or unit mass that much. So, I'm not really that concerned about it. As for the chaos gods, I'm... Oh, hang on, why don't we have a look here? Kill the horned gits. 
Winds of Magic, Power Reserve, Change. Spell Resistance. I guess the Winds of Magic, Power Reserve, Change is just like maybe plus five per turn rather than a percentage. So I guess that's something. I can't let any. Muddled minds. Only what I listen to is me. I feel like there's another army there. Who needs stabbing? On it. I think I think they're trying to lure us in, because there was a much bigger army there before, much bigger. Powerful war boss. Okay, here's what we need to do. This one, swing around this way. This way. And this one. Uh, fuck. Force that march way. to here. Yeah, I, I knew it. There it is. I'm not one in charge around here. And then this tag him out. He's not that important. Real. For... So I'll do. The tribe's ready. Uh, against ogres, it might be good to debuff them with the swamp things. If they do decide to come down here, which does seem kind of likely. And this one here, recruit some more. So, Gobbo Crackdown makes it works better. No complaining would be good. We're okay for money. Did we get a caravan shop? Not this turn. Stop the Now's the time. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, how about you come down over here and just keep an eye out for, or, you know, this way. enemies that might walk up this way. I don't need him attached to this one. What you want? That's what Lord wants. Despair involved fighting. Ready for murdering. Okay, I can see their army isn't here, so I feel like it's there. I'm gonna go there. Hello. I have no idea where their army is. Good job. They've got an army somewhere. Must be like hiding in a corner somewhere. Got a good replenishment rate, it'll be fine. Lit and occupy? Nah, it's occupy. Loot money's not that good. I have to just repair everything. Alright. No, I don't need that. Get rid of it. We should go with growth. Alright, what's this? More iron. Yeah, that'd be okay. Later down the track. Get growth going. And then we can reach the Great Skull Lakes, and wherever their army is, I guess we're just not going to get a confederation with them. The tribe's ready! Getting it done! Gork wants me! No one tells a tyrant what to do! Come on, where'd that caravan's at? Need that money, I'm running out. Uh, do you think that's the spot where Chaos Dwarves will appear? Here? Yeah, of course. That Zar Nagarind is their city. Yeah, these orc factions out here are just placeholders. You hex race are fun to play with? Eh. Fair enough. Get access to river troll hags. And Grimgore's replenishing in an okay rate. Right? Okay, so blue line is essentially done. I don't think we need lightning strike. Oh yeah, let's get best of the best. Cool. Oh no, that's really good. Do 
For Exalted Heroes of Corn, what do you prefer? Hellblade and 10% weapon strength or 10% spell resistance for the whole army and 5% ward save? Usually get the 5% ward save and spell resistance. Hellblade's good, for sure, but I, I do like that ward save. Yeah, stack it with other ward save and they become super tanky. They, they already dish out heaps of damage. So it's, it, it's fine either way. Both of them are good. But uh, that's just what I prefer. We're getting fairly close to Skarsnik, who is over here. Fairly close. So once we're done with... Um, Actually, with this region, I should probably build defenses here. Um, although this, I believe, is Clan Ferric, if I'm not mistaken. Clan War. Yep, that's Clan Ferric. And where's Clan Crizor? I, I lead. Over here. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. Yeah, build the defenses here, and then we'll just um, march down south. Try to find uh, these guys next. I'm trying to actually confederate them some. Spin of salty to find super chat. Uh, I find in my campaigns, I've spent multiple turns just walking without doing anything to do. Am I doing something wrong, or is this just bad luck? Hmm. Honestly, dude, I'd have to have a look at what you were doing. Um, that's too vague of a statement for me to make a judgment call on it. Um, you definitely shouldn't be just walking around doing nothing. You should find something to do. But I, I don't know without actually watching. Thanks, Super Chat, though. No, I don't want that. Okay, I don't want to be notified about outposts either. So, yeah. If these guys here launch the attack on granite spikes, that's going to be a hell of a fight because. Yeah, ogres versus uh, goblins can be a bit of a rough fight. All right, let's move on. Legend, did they change anything on Grimgore's stats abilities? Not that I could tell, but I, I don't memorize stats because stats don't matter that much. So if like one melee attack boost here, three melee defense nerf there, I don't memorize that stuff. Did you know you could steal ally heroes? Yes, I did know that. Alright, are they going to attack? No, I think they've already had their turn. Could you give lottery winning numbers? Yep, sure. Um, 69, 420, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. Welcome to being a millionaire. Alright, we gotta, we gotta fucking trick these guys. I got a war boss. Only one I listen to is me. Any cunning lords here by any chance? Yes, there is. Okay. So what I'm thinking, let's try to get no this one to launch an attack on I'm the one in charge, man. This here. guy. Actually try to get try to get this one to launch the attack cuz this one here has lost 35% of its movement range. No so he can reach all do. the way to there. Which, if I'm standing right you, here, out. Now and you stand see. there in ambush stance, we should also kick him out for that cunning one so that we've got a 60% chance of ambush. I had this guy, there'd be 70%. You and you just continue to recruit. Who needs stabbing? Okay. Ah, uh, where are the caravans at? Cool. I concur. Cool, cool, cool. I will. Uh, they might. They might attack us. We'll see. We'll see. No, we shouldn't be attacking it. I can't be bothered. 
All right, so these guys, let's go down here. Oh, there they are. There they are. Um, well, I guess we're not going to confederate him because he's he just he's not coming back in time. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Looks like I have to fight this manually. Yeah, I don't want to lose my experienced orc boys. Uh. It really shouldn't be a problem. I just, yeah, I just have to fight it manually. What is the temperature in Australia around this time? I'm planning to fire there in a few years. In the few years? Well, it depends on where you go. You have to keep in mind Australia is a very large country. So, flying to Australia is a bit vague because the north is way hotter than the south, for example. The south is actually quite cold depending on when you go. It's spring at the moment, so in Brisbane area, which is where I'm from, it is cool-ish, you know, but probably like normal temperature for if you're from the UK. I mean, just, you can Google this stuff. In your long personal campaign, have you ever used an automatic construction? It seems pretty bad to me, any idea? Oh yeah, yeah, automatic construction's always been bad. Yeah, I never use that shit. Yuck. I tend- I really don't want to automate anything, because, yeah, it's just- It's just, um... You only do that if you truly don't care about what happens. Because chances are you're going to be buying absolute garbage. Alright, let's go. You'd like to see the Melbourne area? Okay, so Melbourne is, at this time of the year, quite cold. So it's similar to the UK, maybe a little bit warmer than the UK. But it rains a lot in Melbourne. If you go there in the summer, it's really hot. But it's like a dry heat. Yeah, Melbourne's good. If not, just a little bit expensive. I quite like Melbourne. Uh, Joshua became member 15 months. Do you think Legendary has become easier in Warhammer 3 compared to 2? Oh, hell yeah. It's way easier. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate you. Yeah, without a doubt, easier. The AI is is like not as clever. Not that it was clever in Warhammer 2, but it, it is. Oh, let me just put it another way. It is more brain dead in Warhammer 3 than it was in Warhammer 2. It's so easy to, to dupe them because they're just stupid, and they don't get as many cheats as they do in Warhammer 2. So they're fighting with fewer tools at their disposal, and those tools are blunt as fuck. Oh, Ninja, you should play a normal difficulty if you want a real challenge. <laughs> Normal difficulties where all the real challenges, guys. Not legendary. Where's their general? Pretty funny how they're not even trying to shoot the uh, giant. They definitely improved dockable areas. The fact that they turn around here and shoot is pretty good. Tomorrow new patch? Yep. Oh, I doubt they're going to make the AI any smarter. I have big doubts about that. Playing as Vogmar, should I prioritize going after the books or should I just beat all my neighbors into submission? You probably should do a bit of both. 
Probably should balance the two out a little bit. Not focus on one or the other too heavily. Because if you do that, you'll have a lopsided campaign that could go belly up. You'll end up with loads of books of Nagash and everybody at war with you, or you'll end up with a really secure territory that's super easy, but no books of Nagash. So a bit of bounce between the two is just the way to go. Alright, let's start moving these around the flank, see if we can find something to cap. Is the Fart Giant Nurgle exclusive? No. Um, so, Nurgle can get it. And Warriors of Chaos can get it as long as they're not Nurgle aligned. Sorry, as long as they're not uh, aligned to anything other than Nurgle. So, for example, um, Korn can't get it. it Valkyr can't get it. Um, Bellicor can. Um, Festus can get it. Kugath can. I think Kugath can get it. Um, Archeon can get it. I think um, Kolek can get it. I, di I definitely saw Kolek with it. Yeah. Bit of mix and match though. But like Azazel can't get it. And uh, Kairos can't get it. Well, obviously Kairos can't get it. Have they said it's going to be a new patch tomorrow? Yes, there should be a new patch tomorrow that's going to address confederations with Warriors of Chaos. Do you think minor settlement battles should be made less common? Yes. Yes. Part of the problem is that the AI hides inside the minor settlements all the time. And so you don't really have that many field battles. Yeah. I pers I actually personally like minor city battles. I think they work pretty well. But I understand that the frequency of them is way too high. Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying that uh, they absolutely hate minor city battles. But honestly, I kind of feel like those people are just complaining because they aren't doing so well at them. There's usually complaints like, oh, the fucking towers always kill me. It's like, I don't actually find that it's really not that big of a deal. But you know, to each their own. That sound is off, because that goes off when you've finished your war. Could you wish my best friend Mo Lester happy birthday? Fuck off Mo Lester, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> happy birthday Mo Lester. Oh, for fuck's sake! You son of a bitch! Fucking hell, you got me with that one. Son of a bitch. I just heard it then. Who, who the fuck did that? <laughs> I just heard it as I was saying it. It happens. I got it. I, yeah. It's not often you're caught in those. Yeah, that one was... I hadn't heard that one before. That was uh, that was a new one to, to me. That won't work again. Oh, my God. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Just move in. Come around the flank or something. Yeah, you got me. Fair enough. Sorry, I didn't think it would work. No, that was a good one. That was a good one. You, you, you did it. Sorry. Any reason you're not speeding battles up very often? Um, it usually doesn't find that it uh, gives a whole lot of speed. Doesn't increase. If there's a full stack, it usually doesn't. The processor can't handle it much. Uh, Adam T did two pounds of Your top three Wormer races and bottom three? Uh, top three Corn. I don't know about Beastman, but I'm going to say Beastman. And then Skaven. Armor of Gork is okay. Um,. Bottom three, probably, in terms of weakest, I'd say Nurgle, Dwarfs, dare I say Tomb Kings? I think Tomb Kings are fairly weak. I do like the Tomb Kings, though. Alright, Slaves of Zara are gone. I did want to confederate them, but unfortunately, if your garrison beats their army, it doesn't count. Alright, let's have a look here. Causes fear and terror is trash. Do I need all four? Yeah, I need all four for that. Vitamin shrooms. Well, I don't... I've only got one. Yeah, whatever. I'll just get the vitamin shrooms for now. Yeah, that's crap. He can't, he can't. This is my land. All right, so yeah, we'll come down over here next, and don't just actively declare war on them. We've got to find the dude wherever he is. So it would help if we scout him out a little bit. I got to find where he is and just beat him. Although the longer I trespass, the more he's going to hate us. But we've got a little bit of wiggle room there. Alright, building stuff. Let's have a look. Running out of money. Need to get another caravan. Come on. Thing is, with the caravans, they only stick around for one turn. So you got to catch them in the act. Kislev has got a really good caravan spot as well. Okay, another province secured. And we just gotta see if this actually works. Which it might, or it might not. We'll see. Let's move on. How dare you love the Dawi? Sorry dude, I, I just, I can't mollycoddle people about, um... About the uh, about the dwarfs, I just don't think that they're that, that strong. Like here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, which race do you think is weaker than the dwarfs? You know, which way race? Like I might give you Tomb Kings, I might give you Nurgle. Let's see if this works. Okay, looks like the ambush failed. But... Garbage for the garbage drone. They all got killed. Empire? Ah, uh, yeah, I could probably... 
I could probably agree with that, that Reichland might actually be the weakest faction at the moment. Yeah, you could argue that. Greenskins? Nah, Greenskins are pretty strong. Gork or Mork? Definitely Gork. Alright, now we gotta fucking leg it down here and try to see what we can do to confederate them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This has been under siege for freaking ages. Alright, I also see that this I one's coming in. With a lot of jade warriors. So, we just finished the garrison up here. If this is here, Two ones ready. yeah, they're not going to launch the attack yet. If, what do we do here? Hinder replenishment. Okay, this is the northern provinces. Okay. Nasty magic ready. On it. Curse them, boss. Yeah, I need to need to be ready for that. My will does not bend. Now. Oh, look, these fuckers. I'm the one in charge round here. Huh. Okay. Start the war. Gork likes it, this one. Just gonna leave that as a ruin for now. But uh, we'll see how things go. Gork severs the bow. There's only seven units there, it's their capital. Uh, I reckon we've still got enough force here to capture the Volary. And sell the Volary off to somebody else. How do we know there'll be a patch tomorrow? Creative Assembly said there would be a patch tomorrow. Great and powerful war boss. Now's the time. Night Gobbo War Boss. Trying to push me. Cool. Alright, that'll be good with that done. Um, with him coming down here to protect the Vale of Titans, we need to make sure that somebody is here ready in case a caravan shows up. That's really important. So let's get another Great Goblin Shaman. This one will do. And uh, just recruit a whole bunch of shit. Because at least we'll be able to use the garrison as well if it shows up. But it'll only be like a half stack. And we could use Regiment of Renown. It'd be worth it. Because, yeah, if this one's defending this position yeah. here, I, I may need to stay there. The uh, how do you know a battle will give you fat loot? If it's a caravan, it'll give you fat loot. If it's not a caravan, it depends on the strength of the army. The stronger the army, the more loot you'll get. Alright, we're pretty good for money. Alright, correct flag. Yep. Oh, gems. God damn it. The fact I didn't build that in the first place. I hope a caravan comes through soon, because I'm running out of cash. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that empty. For now. I, s I still can't believe that, that he sieged it out completely. Yeah, if nothing else, we could come over here and get rid of this. No they shouldn't spawn another lord, but... You've done it. Yeah, just take him out. They're raiding me for 12 gold. There's no way this one's going to be able to reach it. No way. Not this time. So I might as well... force march in there. Oh, yeah. 
and you just stay there. Okay, I think that's me done for the turn. Let's have a look in diplomacy and see if there's any that's juicy right. stuff here. Lamy and Sisterhood? Nah, ignore them. Bow to me! Mm. What? <laughs> Top. I am ready. Okay, that's me done. Alright, who got the level up? This one over here. Yeah, that should be more than enough to take out seven units. More than enough. And then we just sell it over to, um, to village. I'm a little bit worried though that he might declare war on Dolgan, so maybe I should sell it over to, to Dolgan instead. Yeah. We're gonna shake your hands then, not humies. Yeah. Meh. Put. I thought the AI only declares war on you on normal difficulty. You invest a lot of growth in those tier three max settlements. Oh, fuck! You're right. I'm wasting money. <laughs> I'm, you're absolutely right. I'm just wasting money there. Sorry, I'm just on autopilot with that shit. You're absolutely right. Oh, I should demolish that shit. We've already hit like max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. Ah, uh, is that the dude? Drag rot gut. Is that the dude? What you blow it up for? Oh, I know oh, Grizz Guts is. Grizz Guts is. All right. Well, we just went to war with um, him, so he may be coming up to Firemouth pretty soon. He's got a big army there. Okay, we haven't actually met those beastmen yet. So yeah, picking a fight with this one right now, that's not really worth it. We're looking for the other one. Alright, I need to go through those provinces and have a look which ones I'm wasting growth on. Yeah, yeah, look at this. What a waste. We've hit tier 3 on all of them. What a waste. What a waste. Well, I'll just get the money back. It's fine. Why is nobody sending their caravans up this way? Anything you say. That's a pretty nasty beastman army. Pretty bloody nasty. But they're all fresh recruits, so. Let me have a look. Yeah, I should probably get rid of them. Alright, a little bit concerned about Firemouth over here. Um, if I have a look, we could. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that completely. Maybe build some defenses there. Um. His army is likely to be just filled with ogre bulls. Okay, and this should be the end of this situation here, hopefully. Six Minotaurs. Isn't demolishing buildings cost money now? No? 
Are you sure? I don't think so. Alright, yeah, we'll uh, occupy this and then sell it off to the highest bidder. So they're gone, that's good. And this settlement here isn't worth anything to us. So let's firstly check with Village, who likes village. us a little bit. No, actually doesn't like us. So, so the Fortress of Eyes. No, 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 no. Sorry, the Volary. Can give me non aggression pact with them. Or I could go to Dolgan. I share your desire for disorder, but your race has little to offer us. Which could give me a military alliance with them. But I think I'll get a bigger money from oh, this one. Speak silence. Yeah, I can get bigger money there. Now you may talk. Uh, he's got his hands full fighting these ones over here, so he pro he might not declare war on them. Hopefully he doesn't. Hang on, before I do this, I need to make sure I disband my armies, otherwise I'm technically trespassing and he'll get pissed off. Ready for boxing. Yep, you come back. Moving. Oops. You are Dalits and engaging beneath me. Okay, yeah, let's get the military access. I'll take less of a payment, but he'll like us more for this. Do not think. Cool, and that gets rid of those filthy, bloody ogres in that border. Mm-hmm. Texas demolition will cost you, but it doesn't actually take your money. Let me have a look. This magic is real. Hmm. I'm fairly sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it gives you the money back. I think it's just text telling you lies. Crave Assembly constantly telling you lies throughout the game. Uh, Duty Bob did a five pound super jet. Hey, Legend, doing a Grimgore campaign myself at the moment. Raiding Stash's building is OP for when an enemy is running around your lands. Yep, uh, the raiding stash is is okay, for sure. That'll give you a fair bit of extra loot money, for sure. Um, not a huge priority at the beginning of the campaign, but later on the campaign it will. Yep, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be building growth in any of these max tier 3 ones. But if it's got like a major settlement, then that's fine. Uh, Saber Mountain is our capital and it's safe. Uzkul, yep, it's fine. Karak Vrag is safe from him. Okay, that's good. Granite Spikes. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, we should probably build defenses here. We never know when we're going to get attacked. And there goes all my money. Oh, broke for the first time of the campaign. Ugh. The tribe's ready. Yeah, if I attack that with what we got here, I don't think I can win. Um, we just don't have. Oh, we've got uh, this curse of the bad moon. And yeah, you can see the odds there aren't great. It's a lot of a lot of armored units. And we've got next to no armor piercing, so we really need to use the uh, the garrison here as much as possible. I think we can win with that. Um, Anything you say. We do have this spell here, which is not armor piercing at all. To touch a dragonborn is blasphemy. We outnumber them by three units, though. But yeah, I just don't think I can overcome the just the pure strength of their army, unless I hide the entire army. I serve only the dragons. How fast are you? 92 speed to their 90 speed. And they'll be tired. Is there anything I can give you for speed? Let's have a look here. I might actually be able to win this. 
Uh, alright, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? You got any... Oh, sh yeah, no, we did get... Oh, no, so that'll activate when we get into the battle, giving you an extra 5% speed. That's good. Alright, let's have a look here. What can we get you? Potion of Toughness? Yeah, I don't want to lose it, but... None of these here are really going to make a big difference. That's not going to make a difference either. Alright, I'm actually going to make the attack here. I think I might be able to win it. It's going to be a tough one. But I think I can do it. Ooh! Ah, oh, fuck! Storm of Shadows. Oh, god damn it. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, the range on that... Uh, that's gonna be a problem. I can still do it. I can still do it. Just if I... Work hard at this, I think I can still do it. There better be some trees here. <laughs> Shit. If there's no trees, we're in trouble. Hey, there's trees. There's trees. Okay, over here is where we go. Yeah, this this could be a tough one. Those jade crossbows are going to murder you? Yeah. Yeah, they might. They might. Um, We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know, we got to. Sometimes you got to do some ballsy attacks. There's a good chance we'll lose. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind. These are the kind of battles that I enjoy. The ones where you're up against the odds with an army that really can't do much. All right. Let's see what we can do. Okay, their army's playing defensive. We've got similar amount of magic to them. Now, if I get within close range, we'll see if it casts that spell to slow me down. So with the peasant horsemen, we can pop down the don't even try it on them. If anyone gets close to us, we can put down Gork will fix it. Saxe is not worth it anymore. Depends on the faction, but mostly no. Stay away from those peasant horsemen. If they put down this, yeah, 97 speed. They probably will not shoot at us. What I need is for them to get into a nice big fat blob. Which will happen if I start running circles around them. That's not too bad. Yeah, 11 wins of magic. I'm not going to get loads of cast of this, but... That's pretty decent damage. Okay, and we put this down on the uh, Peasant Horseman. So we did 4,000 damage, which is not too bad. Because that's the only thing that's going to hurt him. So far, they are still playing it quite defensive. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Okay, we're not getting amazing spell casts here. But I got a lot of wins. 
Now, if we have a look at this one, spellcasting. Yeah, just trash. Uh, the only one that's really a worry is Storm of Shadows. It's the only thing. Yeah, but they refuse to shoot. Remember when people were like, Legend, what will you do if they don't shoot Moisture Ammo at you anymore? Just run circles around them. There's a decent blob there. This one's a biggie. Moving fast. Mm, racking up damage. The thing is, don't forget, the odds aren't that bad by comparison, so we just need to get a bit of an advantage over them. That is a nice blob happening over there. Stay away from this one, I don't have any more of those abilities. That is a nice blob there. This one here is just not casting the slowdown on us. This shroom yeah, I can't do this forever. Oh, green skin music playing. Uh oh, for you. Good. How come sack cities aren't worth it anymore? Because the amount of experience that you get is based on the size of the enemy that you kill. And when you sack a city over and over again, you're not really killing very many of them. So you're not getting levels up very quickly. And you're not making money off it. So the only benefits are if you there's some benefit to like having just having a battle. So getting items or if, uh, increasing bloodletting as corn. Um, outside of that, um, even Skaven uh, sack cities aren't worth it because you get the majority of your food now from killing lords, not from killing units. Uh, they are... I'm not sure what they're doing. Are they coming at me? Come at me, bro. That's it, come at me, bro. Look at this. Come at me, bro. Get that blob together. Look at that blob. Just don't send the cavalry over here. I'm actually a little bit tired now. Spell no, I went the wrong fucking way. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. You're going the wrong way, you dipshit. Cursed of the shit moon, more like it. Damn it, I've only got a few more casts of this. Is it still worth crap stacking Nasty Skulkers? I think so. I'm gonna do that soon. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Come on, go the right direction this time. Alright, we've killed off the equivalent of about three units so far, so that's good. Yes, considering we already outnumbered them. Just, they've got the quality on their side. Alright, I got an idea, got an idea. Let's start bringing some of their units over here, but just like, one at a time. So I'm gonna put a unit of gob- uh, yeah, goblins just out there so they can see it. So that they might send a unit over there and then we just dogpile on it. It's a decent looking blob you got there, bro. Moon 
Okay, that one did a decent amount of damage. That's good. If I'm not mistaken, the cavalry is chasing over there. That's hilarious. That's going to be really good for us. Just uh, hang on. How much magic have I got left? Left. I still got about three more casts, I think. Uh, they can see one of our other units. Okay. <laughs> now they want to come back over this way. Maybe I shouldn't have moved it. I know. I know it's uh, visible to them. Moving fast. That looks pretty good. I'll take that. All right. I think. Uh, I think we got two casts left. Which he's definitely already done his work. Thirty-two thousand damage. Not terrible. Oh, is that one going to come after me now? But look at them, they're exhausted. Because they're running constantly. They're actually exhausted. Yeah, I got two casts left. Take that! Okay, I got one, one cast left. it count. But yeah, we've really worn them out, which is really good. Moving fast! Here it is, last cast, make it count. Spell stat. Yep, got a few kills. Did a bit of damage. And now we have to fight. Because I'm out of magic. 40,000 damage done. What's that, like five units wiped out? And they're exhausted. They're not, hopefully not going to wait around. You know, we got some armor piercing. As well. So now I'll use this one here for harassing missile units. Maybe keeping that one busy. If some of their units wants to chase us, that's good. Uh, they're not really disrupted there, which is what I want them to be. And that choke point there benefits them, so let's move back. We want them to be out in the open. I can use my superior numbers against them that way. I think the soundtrack just ended again. Because we absolutely have to try to get at their missile units. That's so important. So a choke point benefits them. Can't have that. Try to keep a few of these units back here. Cool. Charging in a moment. Yeah, our Gobbo is going to be able to beat Jade Warriors. Uh, you know, worn out, damaged Jade Warriors, but are they going to be able to handle it? That's the big question here. 
I do come to chill the super chat. How to beat Vlad? He destroyed two stacks by himself. Don't know, man. He regenerates like crazy. I think you need to auto resolve against him. Or you need to be able to damage him super quickly or army loss him. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate you. They're still at that choke point there. I need them to get further back. How fast is this lord? Oh yeah, we can easily outrun it. This is a bunch of units that are in really, really bad shape. Interesting to see what they're doing here. They've actually chosen a good defensive position. So what might benefit me is if I go around here with some of my units and uh, try to flank them a little bit. Because, yeah, their, their formation's good. Hang on, hang on. I need... If, hang on, if I can fight this lord, that'd be good. Yeah, this one's not going to be able to beat her in melee. No, not even close. He's he's done his worth in this battle. He can't really do any more. be a fight over here in a moment. Cool, cool, cool. Isolated unit of Jade Warrior Crossbowman there is good. Uh, this one here fighting against uh, Orc Boys will probably do a fair bit of damage. Those Lords are fairly strong. Goblins! Okay, bring these over here. Okay, Peasant Archers over there. Okay, maybe try to ignore this flank over here and just like hit them hard in the center. Here we go. Fight's about to begin. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Here we go. Fight's about to begin. Coming in hard over here. They saw a weak spot. But it's actually kind of a trap. Good. They uh, they got stuck there. Nice. Oh, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Back off, back off. That's it. Oh, slowing this one down. Okay. Doesn't get we got the trees blocking us. Blocking them here. Okay, gotta get rid of the iron hell gunners. That is so important. Yeah, that one that's about to break anyway. So what are these? Jade Warriors. Okay, just just try to avoid them for the time being. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stay back from that. Just run that one off over there. Okay, you've got to be shooting at those Iron Hail Gunners, because they will otherwise do shitloads of damage. Or just charge at them, whichever comes first. Avoid these ones on the flank. Okay, get in over there. Two blobby. Need to move forward a bit more there. That's it. Just lure that one away. Fight. 
Oh god, our goblins got wrecked there. Iron Hail Gunners, get rid of them. Come on, give me, give me a uh, while. This one here is giving us some problems. But that hasn't got a chance to shoot anything yet, and the goblins are getting at him. But this one's out of the way here. Into this. Okay, we're getting slaughtered over here, but we're slaughtering over here. This one here is getting shot a bit. Move that back. I need my archers. It's my damage dealing. Heavy cavalry. Yes, yes. Good. Flank that. How are we going over here? That one's coming back. You come back as well. That one's still doing shit. It doesn't feel right without music. Okay, shoot into that flank there. You move over here a little bit. Yeah, those ones there are still shooting our goblin archers. We're really vulnerable to getting shot with those. Okay, I need to get some of these guys over here to hit at those fucking archers. I know we're in a bit of a blob. It's not the end of the world though. Shit. Jade Warriors there. Move out of the way. Right, gotta get at those Jade Warrior crossbow and pin them down. Shit, I don't even know if I'm winning. Get rid of this one over here. They're targeting my archers and I need them the most. They're my damage dealing. Okay, we're shooting into those Jade Warriors. That's good. Oh, I still got I still got one more spell cast left. <laughs> Pin down their fucking missile units. You get back over here. I think we're doing okay. Good, that worked over there. Good, you, you, don't worry about that anymore. Get over here. Nice and blob for us ready to shoot into a flank. We've got to get over here. Get over here and shoot into this fucking nice blobbity blob without their shields blocking us. From this, they're overrunning us a little bit here. Come on, you need to hurry up. That's looking okay. Oh, here we go. This again. Hurry up. Good, that's working there. Come on, you get in over here. Hold them back. Hold them back. Alright, we need big shooters in there. That's going to cause mass amounts of damage. Good. That's what we wanted to do. We're shooting right into their flanks. This one here is not though. Move it around. This over here looks fine. We've got their archers flanked. What are you doing? Get over here. Get up! Moving fast! I think we're winning. Let's scrap! Stick up! <laughs> Alright! Yes. Good, we're shooting at them and they're not shooting at us. That's the idea of the archers over there. To try to eat up those archers. Get a kill up. Stab up. Get going. This situation here is about as ideal as we could ask for. Nice, easy targets for our gobbo archers here to shoot. Victory's in our grasp. Good one. The blobbing. Don't underestimate the power of blob. See? We won.
Our army's okay. There we go. Don't underestimate the power of the blob. Yeah, kill that lord if you wouldn't mind. Right, run down. And look at the damage done on these archers. No, oh, actually not that much. And that's how a trash army can take on an armored one. Did you against didn't lose once? Uh we haven't lost in this campaign yet, have we? <laughs> what can I say? Worm 3 is pretty bloody easy. I just I just don't lose very often. Why kill the Lord instead of living about 1 HP? Because I don't know if I'm going to have enough to pursue him. Why, why would I leave the Lord alive? Why? So they can get more experience and become immortal? No, kill it. Because uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to catch it again. So... Yeah, I kill as many of them as possible. I should be able to auto-resolve the next fight. No, see, the Iron Hell Gunners only did one kill. That was their highest damage potential unit outside of like the Jade Warriors. Cool, I'll take the money. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to catch it. Don't they replace the Lord with a full HP Lord? Yep, but at least it'll be a rank no one. That Lord one died. Slip. See, I can't pursue it. So, um, since I wasn't going to be able to wipe out the army anyway, that, that army's going to run away. Like, we're done here. So. Yeah, curse it a bad mood. Can we channeling? Ah, oh, there's no channeling stance! What the fuck, Bucket? <laughs> How the fuck are you supposed to get Winds of Magic? Yeah, it makes a big difference. Goblin Tide is good. Fine. Why does this green freeze after every battle? On legendary difficulty, every time a battle happens, it, that's the game auto saving. You'll notice with the freeze, it'll say game saved. Alright, I think that's all I can do. Yeah, we're recruiting over here. Uh, might be a good idea to research some stuff for um, better goblins, given that we're probably going to need it. Yeah, melee attack for goblin units. Uh, ammunition for missile infantry. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need that. Is that? Yeah, that's scrap. That's okay. Channeling stance for green skins called funky dancing. S. Yes. Yeah, well they don't. They don't have any of that. So, completely at the uh, the whims of the the region. Son of bitch. Son of bitch. What's this? Alright, I've done everything that I can, I think. Wait, he's gonna level up. 
Oh, this one. Cool. Alright, and construction. Cool, I got a little bit of extra money out of that. Alright, Falls of Doom. Yep, you'd be upgraded. Mountains of Moor. Nah, leave that be. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Have I lost a battle in this campaign yet? I don't think I have. Let me have a look. Nah. Oh, we're bound to lose eventually. I, I'm not super strong with green skins. Alright, moving on. Why even use orcs? Uh, well, I don't have access to nasty skulkers yet. Yeah, see, they're just going to leave. But now they've got a rank one lord. They have to basically start again. They also chose a magistrate over a shingengengen, whatever lord it is. <laughs> Shugengen lord. Yeah. Um, scrap, scrap mechanic not worth doing. Oh, it totally is. I'm just not going to waste scrap on shit units that I'm not going to keep. Because you can very easily spend all the scrap that you've been saving up for a really long time. Like that. I'm not going to put that on goblins, like regular goblin units. I'm going to put it on nasty skulkers or black orcs or something like that. There's fighting time and yabbering time. Bah. There's fighting time and yabbering. Bah. Don't bother calling them in. What are you doing? Are you gonna attack me? Are you gonna ambush me? Shit, we actually got fucking ambushed. Our army is not super susceptible to ambush, but the Doom Diver catapults are. I should have put myself in um, in the Raiden camp. We would have been able to prevent this. Ah oh, well, what are you gonna do? All right, we're not. Yeah, the, the Doom Diver catapults might get fucked. Um, they got a lot of Minotaurs. Uh, we may end up losing this. Stupid fucking beastman shows up. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We have to get in nice and tight because his ability is super strong. Oh, if I had been in Raiden camp, they wouldn't have declared war. Fucking my ambushes never once succeed. Their ambushes, 20 40 percent chance succeeds. Son of a, son of a bitch. Come on, come on. Come on. You have to move quick. Come on. Now would be good. Now would be good. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, for fuck's sake. Go! Come on! <laughs> there they are, there they are. You, uh, you're fucked, aren't you? Yep. You're fucked. Yep, the uh, Nazi, uh, the Doom Divers are out of here. Useless in a siege. Uh, sorry, in a. Oh, watch out for blobs. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You gotta pin those fuckers down, boy. Get this one out of here, just fucking leave, you're out of here. Come on, where are you boy? Get in there, get in there and start fucking doing this. Stop those fucking Ongor Raiders, they do shitloads of damage to us. The Grimgore's fine. Where's their lord? I'm nowhere near it. Keep that pin down. I know we're taking damage, just keep it pinned down. You stay out of it for now. The giant's taking some damage. Ah, you fucking coward. God, we need to stop these. We need to stop them. Where are you? Yeah, you need to get over here. Fucking smash this son of a bitch. It's okay. You get over, get over there and smash that. Fuck. Yeah, Grimgore's fine. This is too far away from the main action. Uh, I think I'm winning. 
Think I'm winning. Think I'm winning. Okay, you come back over here, get on the artillery now, since most of the units are distracted. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. Boys. Please look for. Bring it on. Come on, kill that. Ooh. Fucking dickhead. Yeah! Look at that giant go. Uh, he, he did alright. Uh. Alright, what's the damage? We're okay. We're okay. Oh, legend, watch out, they have minotaurs. Oh, I should have used the heal. It doesn't matter. We'll replenish real quick. Grim God Potion healing? It won't matter. Then um, I'll fully replenish over the end turn. But you're right. I should have done that. I think the, the main thing that helped us to win the battle was keeping these two pinned down. They had the potential to kill so many. Yeah, none of our units got wiped out. We didn't wipe out much of them. They had a pretty early army losses. I'll t I'll just take the money. I need to see where they go in case they go into in hidden encampment. Maybe they'll just be out in the open. What went well? I got ambushed. I got ambushed, but they failed. Gotta be around here in hidden encampment. They've gotta be around here somewhere. Keep moving. This is oh, it. For fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? They can't use. Hang on, let me. How am I gonna detect them? Horde buildings one. They're actually in this room. They're in here fighting. somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sake. oh, they're right. They're right there. Okay, I know where it is. Cool. I know where it is. I can see them now. Use the hero. The hero won't detect them. I know where they are. I can see where they are. Make peace? Nah, I'm gonna kill them. The game wouldn't bloody show me where they were moving during the end turn. Just, it just went off screen. I would have been able to see where they are, but I, I can see them now. You don't see the ca I see it now. I see it now. Things. Yeah, I didn't see it until 
That's what Mark wants. Oh, what the fuck? Let's go. They. Let's find some what stuff. the hell? God, it just keeps moving. What? Bring it. Come on. What? What? It's it's. What the hell are you supposed to do about that? I did run over it. I ran over it multiple times. We actually pushed them out of the way. Send your hero in. Uh, he can't do anything. Look. Looking for a fight. He can't detect it. Heroes don't detect hidden encampment. Just if you walk over it, you're supposed to detect them. Uh, but we did that, and it didn't do anything. AI declines the attack. Yeah, but it should pull them out. That's so annoying. How are we going to deal with that? Alright, I think I know what I need to do. I need to do that again. Yeah, that's, that's really, really friggin' annoying. But, I know what I need to do. We need to, we need to ambush the ambushes. Yeah, we're going to need to get them to come out and try to attack our poorly defended settlement over there. Um, I'll put my army behind it in ambush dance, and then they go in, thinking it's easy pickings, and then they can't get out of the, the engagement. Gone. Order resolved. What's happened there? Don't understand. We found where their camp is. Now, normally in Warhammer 2, for example, if you walk over a beastman encampment, they, um, they get pulled out of it. But, for some reason in Warhammer 3, they just don't come out of their encampment stance. See, they're right there. See how the encampment actually moved as we walked into it? So what I'm going to have to do is goad them into making a silly attack. So what we do is we're going to ambush stance behind here. They'll probably attack Falls of Doom over the end turn. And if they do that, um, Grimgore will be pulled into the fight and will be able to order resolve it because they won't be able to win. It's silly, but... Uh, I don't know, they're just... You have no tools to work with this. Okay, I think we'll put you on your um, mount. That actually was would've been pretty useful. Is this intended or a bug? Uh, I, I think it's a bug because that wasn't how it worked in Warhammer 2 and seems kind of overpowered. Here's what it is. Oh well. That's why you want to be the one to launch the attack on them because now they're hidden and we, we have to wait for them to come out. So if we have a look, I'll just recruit a lord here real quick. Right. We can see from his movement, I can, if I can reach them, they can reach me here. So they'll probably launch the attack, not realizing Grimgore is there. 
they then they won't be able to pull out of it. They can't ambush us if they attack Falls of Doom, right? We just have to trick them to make a stupid attack. There's no other way. The tribe's ready. I think um, thingy is coming. Fine. Uh, he may have gone down that way. On it. Oops. I'm special. Did you guys see that? Kassim, boss. Did you see that? I just discovered another movement bug. It's not a big deal. But did you guys see what happened there? <laughs> Do you want me to load and show you how that how that happened? Ah, uh, no. Another time, another time. So basically, if you pull a hero out while your army is still moving, it hasn't used up any of its movement. So you can actually use it to, like, get a big leg up on its movement if you want to project it in the right direction. Interesting. <laughs> Anything you say. So I was like, oh, I remember I need to keep this guy here. Like, this guy in this turn went all the way over to here and all the way back. And if you ever look at his movement... Right, that's that's his full movement used up. Because the game doesn't reduce their movement until after he's finished moving. So you can pull them out. You can use it as the way to project them. Yeah. I can't imagine it'd be overly useful, but it's something. Alright, so Black Fang. Let's have a look at this. It is near Zar Nagrand. It is... A frontier settlement. I'm gonna put some defenses here. Firemouth needs defenses. Eagle Eries is not really a frontier. Not, not so much. Oh, uh, unless those beastmen come over here, which they might. Nah. If they jump over here, I'll just recruit some regiment of an animal handler. And get that in there, because that'll give us access to uh, other heroes. Oh, no, no, you know what we need? We need this. Get some more money. I don't really need those other heroes right now. Search next. Go bigger. Oh, I was getting no complaining. Okay. So yeah, this is a bit of a detour because obviously I wanted to go fight this dude wherever he might be. I have no idea. Oh, I can get another Black Hawk big boss, but I ran out of money. Let me just because um, I could use it as a scout. What's not urgent? That's not urgent right now. Get... Yeah, because I can recruit these all promises, can't I? Alright, get this dude. And what we want to do is scout this guy's uh, faction leader. i got to find where he is. Yeah. Okay, and let's move on. Beastmen are going to be one of the last ones to have their turn. Ah, oh, fucking hell, they didn't watch the attack. They must still be trying to recover. God, that's annoying. Alright, there they are. They're heading towards Black Fang. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, All right, uh, they can attack Black Fang over the end turn, but I think I can stop them because their army is still pretty badly damaged. But at least we at least we see where they are. Okay, we need to put a Lord in here. Um, what do we got? Yeah, you'll do. And we're gonna need some regiment of renown. Let's have a look. So we've already got nine units. Some okay units. No, sorry, this is the wrong one. Black Fang. Yeah, some okay. Okay, whatever. Um. We need some stuff that's going to be able to take out the... No, not that one. Alright, so that gives us 3, 12 up against their 15, but damaged 15. Oh. Indeed. Please tell me that's going over here. All right, I'll move. Bring the bad news. There's no defeat campaign. Uh no. Yours further south then? No, 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 no. It was there. It was there, right? Because it said, it said that there was horde. Um. They were in this province. They were there. And what they did was over the turn, they moved to here. They moved from there to here. Look, that's their exact movement range. That's what they did. We just couldn't see it because it was in our fog of war. If I had this hero here, we would have seen them move. Did we cover the might hide again? Yeah, they might, but we should have sight over them. Yeah, they might hide again. Um, we should be able to see them move. See, I've hired just enough units here that I think that they'll, um, actually I don't need to put anything here. That I think they'll launch the attack, but I also think that they'll lose. Okay, I have a feeling this one is going to jump up to here. So we need to be ready to go and smash it. But legend, you'll be declaring war on the northern, pro western provinces. I need money. I didn't see my money. I need my money. Give me my fucking money, bitch. Alright, um, just uh, curse it a bad moon. Let's go. Me. Ooh, he's got a lot of territory. Can't wait to steal all of it. Just gotta find that idiot. Alright, I got a little bit of money left over. Yeah, that's fine. This is a major settlement there. Um, Firemouth seems safe-ish. And I got no more money for anything. Alright, cool. We can find out where Greasus actually is using this. So he's actually at the Valley of Horns. And down there. There's someone there. It's... Okay. By doing this, I'll be able to track Greasus, because he'll likely have the largest army. Today you. It's oh. possible it'll go down this way as well, but we won't know until it actually goes. Okay, let's move on. Can you still do the unkillable regiment of now cheese? I believe so. <gasps> yep, it went over here. Good. I'ma kill it for money. How'd you get village to like you? It's been a pain in my ass in my Grimgore campaign. I sold him a settlement, so he loves me now. I sold them a settlement for a bunch of treaties, because it's red territory. Yeah, don't be afraid to sell away shit cities away. Yeah, hang on, here we go, here we go, here we go. What are they doing? Alright, here we go. They did exactly what I thought they were going to do. 
And they've just lost. There's no way they can win now. Because Grimgor can come up his ass. Yep, you're done fucked up, boy. Let's see if we outrun with this way so Grimgor doesn't have, need to dirty his hands with it. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Cool. We got our revenge. Cool, like I said, hide just enough to be able to win against it. And off you go. Thank you very much. Alright, you gotta go find that fucking lord. This oh, is shit everywhere. Uh, they're probably a little bit pissed at me. Oh, not that much, actually. Okay, whatever. Alright, I'm not gonna raid through his territory. I just stayed in that stance there so that, uh,. Let me attack, but I'll swing him around over here. We'll just, uh, I'll see if I can find him. No Alright, over here. Whoa! 1,600. Hengdong Caravan. Suck on my dong. Hang on, before I do that. I dream of you. Uh, Stay uh, More uh, ingredients. All I need to do is prepare them. Yeah, that sounds good. My God. Okay, just went to war with the northern and western provinces. Well, it was already in war with the northern. Yeah! Alright, let's... Come on, 20 grand. 20 grand. There's a good, there was a good amount in this caravan. Give me 20 grand. 20 grand. Nice. Uh, but now there's going to be ramifications for that. I imagine Xiao Ming is going to come over here. And that's going to be more difficult than the other army was to defeat. So we need to be ready for that. Alright, I need to get another Black Orc big boss. Confident. Nah, discipline would be better. And uh, scout ahead a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see about that. Honestly, it might be in my best interest as well to cancel this defensive alliance. Nah, not right now. Okay, what are we doing next? How strong is Reese? Strength 18. It's got four settlements. Looking for military presence, but I don't see it. The dude might also be wounded. He's got a lot of territory. I might just have to just keep an eye on him and just see what happens. Because, yeah, if we find him and beat him, then we don't need to conquer all these territories. So we'll also get it at uh, a high level. Alright, the settlement over here is nice and safe. That's good. Uh, are we ready to get some... Ne next turn, we'll be able to get some giant river troll hags. That's good. Um, granite spikes is a frontier that will not build walls, but it will give us. Okay, instead of one goblin, we get an orc boy. No, 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 hang on. So, no, no, it upgrades two of the biggins. Yeah, two biggins. Okay. Um, uh, Costas Levranos did a 
Tendo Super Chat. Hey, Legend. Uh, just catching up the stream now. If I start it from the beginning, does the view count for live viewers count? Uh, with work, it's not always easy to catch the streams from the start. I think it does, but I'm not entirely sure. Thanks so much, chat. I think it does. But yeah, not 100% sure on that. Don't worry about it. Just watch it how you, you see fit. Alright. And Gorgia Rock. Let's get that going. And that. Yeah, we obviously don't really need that anymore. All this. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, okay, growth. Now what stronger? Okay. Yeah, that's all right, that upgrade. Not a... Okay, so we've got the no complaining. Let's have a look here. Leadership for goblins, 5%. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, pulling teeth. That'll give us a fair bit of extra money. Let's go with pulling and teeth. No, no, get the get the actual gobos. We're, we're good for money. All right, and now we need to see what happens. Villain. Nothing you can say. Okay. Let's move on. Another one on the way. Another caravan. Yummy. And that lord there, he's very badly damaged anyway. I'm taking attrition in my own territory because the forest has been awakened. Treacherous place for any enemy of the woods. What is this? Durthu is doing that to you. Durthu is in your region. Kick him out. Yeah, any. Uh, Dothu has a skill in his skill tree that if he gets it, he causes attrition to every enemy in um, the region that he's in. So, guaranteed it's Dothu. Easy peasy. So, if I you're coming no up here, right, I'm going to leave you an ambush dance. Come back over here. Do what I say. For war. Military presence one. Lady from the front. No, that's not him. That's what Mork wants. And that's why we got to scout. Gotta find this fucker somewhere. Yeah, I just can't see where this dude is. Master of this tribesman gather. What you want? Oh, we've met uh, Azag. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with Azag next, but let's just sort this out first. Do you know why the devotion costs upkeep increasing for Kislev? Oh yeah, so the cost depends on how many settlements you have. So the bigger your empire, the more it'll cost. It, it, if you're building enough of the dev devotion buildings, eventually it becomes completely trivial. And I think that there may actually be a cap to how much it costs. But yeah, in the early stages of the campaign, when you most need it, you don't have enough devotion. In the late campaign, when you don't really need it at all, you'll have abundance of it. Interesting mechanic, that one. But yeah, it's based on the number of settlements you have. So if you want to reduce the cost, sell away some of your settlements. Which, you know, doesn't really make much sense. What can Wouldn't mind a defensive alliance with him. Alright, I don't think there's much else I can do there. Good money. Yeah, Greenskin economy is much better in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2. Much, much better. 
For this number of armies, I should be broke. Uh, Blood Peak is... This is where those, um, things show up. So what I could do is put a, a large garrison in here. And what that'll do is require me to have a smaller army here in order to attack it. So I won't need a full stack. In fact, the garrison should be able to handle it more or less on its own. Um, since we don't really have a lot of other buildings. Oh, no, no. We should always get uh, these ones. I don't mind trolls anymore. Yeah, the right kind of trolls. Um, it's fine. We also killed a bunch of caravans. I, I mean, like, f making 4,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, I know I killed a bunch of caravans. Um, and that was good. But I'm talking about the, the green income. Normally, if I have uh, three armies on turn 28, I'd be in the red, pretty much no matter what it is. And I, don't forget, I got a giant in this army. They're not exactly cheap. So, that's good. Alright, I don't see anything else we need to do here. Uh, I guess what we could do is track, uh, Greases. Okay, he's at the Valley of Horns. Yeah, it's, sometimes those alliance details are really bloody good for tracking idiots like the Greases. Um. And his strength ranking is lower than ours, so we shouldn't have a problem dealing with him. Alright, let's move on. Stone Trolls? Yeah, I do like Stone Trolls, especially in Wurzag's army. Hopefully Wurzag's still alive. Usually all legendary lords stay alive. Oh no! That's why I didn't develop it. Ruined world. But at least it gave us some, some sight for a little while. So that was the guy that was over here. So we know that this settlement here is not defended. But it is walled. So I'll need to check ahead a little bit. Why giant? I confederated it. Honestly, this area here is okay to have a giant because people don't have many missile units. Uh, if I was going up against the Empire, I'd get rid of it immediately. Or the dwarfs, just get rid of it. But if you're going up against... Um, Low-level um, ogres, other greenskins, giants are actually fairly useful because they don't really use their missile attacks very much. Ah, oh, mamma mia! They didn't send it to the fucking area. They sent it somewhere else. Son of bitch. Okay, this guy here doesn't have a siege attacker unless... No, we don't have a siege attacker. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, we... I think we do. I think the swamp things are ready. Let me just check. No, five more turns. Unless you can assault garrison. No. Well, you'll just have to lay siege. Hang on. Ogres aren't supposed to be able to build walls. Son of a bitch. Am I missing something here? Hmm. There's Greasus, no one and he can't get here in time, so what I'll do is I'll actually move over here in Ambush Dance, right? Uh, and what we might be... Yeah, I, I just don't have a Siege Attacker. And there's no way I can get one, I don't have any in reserve, let me just check. No, none of these guys are Siege Attackers. No. Right, actually, don't worry about being in, in that stance. Because, yeah, he's not going to be able to detect that we can jump in the underway. It's a dwarf city, that might be why. Yeah, maybe, but I thought um, that the, uh, the ogres, even if they occupy a settlement, that they couldn't build walls. Sort of like Norska. 
But it's not that big of a deal. After lay siege. Greasus might come chasing after us. Yeah, I just I can't deal with it. Yeah, that takes one time. I think they changed that. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, it seems like they changed it. That's fine. I just can't knock it straight away. Fine. I'll get here. The deadliest. And we're still looking for, you know, that dude, but he's just how pissed off is he? Yeah, trespassers. He's getting pretty annoyed at me. He might end up declaring war, but he, no, he's, he's at war with Greasus. He's probably not going to do that. All right, let's see what else there is to build. Oh, we should have access to, here we go. Oh, knowledgeable. That used to be really good, but now it's garbage. Um, whatever. The only trait that's worth getting is discipline now. I'm not even going to make note of it. Okay. What else we got going on? Good, we're already up to tier 4. And then what we'll do, actually, uh... Yeah, let's get rid of this now. Um, so that we get access to more build cells. Because it's still growing pretty, pretty quick. We want to build a barracks and try to get access to nasty skulkers. I know that they're not a tier 4 unit. It's just that... I didn't need to do it. Wait. Yeah, they're a tier 2 unit. I could have gotten ages ago. Doesn't matter. We haven't so far needed it. Cool. Right, let's move on. Oh. Planted Doomstack Black Orcs? Not really. No, I've never... I don't know, maybe. I'll think about it. I, just, I don't really build Doomstacks in Warhammer 3. I like to build shit stacks. Depends on the faction, I suppose. And I actually would like to build armies that are thematic to the Legendary Lords, so... Um... Well, uh, they take advantage of their skills. Which I guess you could say that for, um... You Black Orcs. Oh, wow, that didn't last long. I think they besieged my city. Yeah, I did. I definitely built the fences there, but I saw it was pretty large. Oh, no, no. They haven't besieged it yet. Uh, that buys me some time. I got 16 units in here. As if any Skaven's going to be able to do anything about that. Unless they jump in the underway. Yeah, then they could get through. Uh, so I'll need to recruit an army to deal with it. Um, you know what, guys? This is probably a good place to call it a day. Because I'm six hours into the live stream. I really don't want to burn myself out. Um, could be a while before I take another break. <laughs> another day off. So, I think this is a good place to end the stream. Really appreciate all the support today, guys. Sorry it was a bit of a choppy stream because of the internet disconnects. But I'm pretty sure we'll be back at this again tomorrow. Uh, I'm enjoying the campaign so far. Not as much as the uh, Scarbrand campaign. But I think we're doing pretty well. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to somebody. And then we'll continue this tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get this confederation and Azag sorted. Alright, let's have a look. Who to host. Alright, let's chuck a host over to... We'll chuck it over to Radiant Ash today. Yeah. Let me just grab... So she's playing a Thorgrim campaign on Legendary Difficulty. Alright. So I'm just setting up the host. But yeah, appreciate all the support. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. We'll definitely continue it tomorrow. Um, and I'll see you then. Later, fuckers.